Blog Talk Radio. Warning. You have entered the realm of the gods. So give us your mind and your full attention. So you say you deal with esoteric information? I never heard of such. Well, you're in for a treat. Blog Talk, Blog Talk, this is the Blog Talk. I lean hell bay, dropping jewels every day. Blog Talk, Blog Talk, this is the Blog Talk. Metaphysical, we deal with the spiritual. Blog Talk, Blog Talk, this is the Blog Talk. I lean hell bay, dropping jewels every day. Blog Talk, Blog Talk, this is the Blog Talk. Metaphysical, we deal with the spiritual. So you claim to be a god? Damn right I'm a god. The maker, the owner, cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, god of the universe. Wow. Tune in or lose, friend. All strategies apply mathematically. The information he drop is real powerful. So get your notepad, it's more than an hour full. Watch your jaw, the crew with watch us talk. Indigenous to the land, wherever we stand. First world order, we bring it at home in the first quarter. Invisible lines don't apply. <laughs> Silly rabbit, knowledge for God. No matter where you resign, large temple of Mars. So don't fret or proceed with hesitation. Just tune in to blog talk to get the information. Peace. Whether you suffer from pain in your back to aches in your knees, come on down and purchase you some ancestral tea to get rid of all the parasites, toxins, and fleas. Spiritual elevation for cosmic gravitation. So put away the patience, because there's no time to be wasted.
Yo, don't look at me the same, I ain't nothing like I used to be Upgraded daily through the lies and all the foolery My dream became lucid, I travel back in time Collecting life data for my subconscious mind That father let me know that anything is possible By pulling down the universe through my crown chakra Manipulate the energy, it's all an illusion Knowing who you are kills all the confusion Why 85% judge off my appearance? I use alchemy to create the world potential My lyrics turn divas right back in the queens why those boys the same twice appearing back on the scene Everybody gone mad, blame the media out there The new black Hollywood chose us straight out of the project Bobo and gender war sucking up to the master Why the whole community going up in disaster We going through the transition and it's all she wrote Put on my hockey game, my Jesus beats back to the post Came back, my angel times the brain, heaven on earth I was the last golden child, they returned to the birth We going through the transition and it's all she wrote Put on my hockey game, my Jesus beats back to the post Coming on tonight, my divine mate, Kadera, are you here? Hey, yeah, I'm here. All right. I also have my usual co-host, brother, Professor Grand Sheik Fahim L. Are you here, brother? Namasama <laughs> Dakunda. We're doing well tonight, brother. Appreciate you. All right. Doing well. All right, all right. Well, we're going to get into some very interesting info tonight. Um, I guess some would say, well, this is the mundane information, but you know that we always flip it to a higher frequency. So just keep listening, and you'll see. All right, so um, we're going to be getting into the episode info, which is Queen Beyonce, Black Panther Ties, um, Nation of Gods and Earth Ties, or Illuminati. Now, hmm. um, of course, we've been hearing for years about the Illuminati alleged connections. Um, they showed the Super Bowl um, from a few years ago when, um, I think it was like two, three years ago, in which that her um, neck got real thick, her tongue, you know, looked as if it had um, attachments to it, and her eyes went black, you know, um, I know my wife remembers seeing this, um, so I'm going to let you um, talk on that portion. Is my reception good? Can y'all hear me? Yes, yes. very well. Clear. Y'all, it was sick. All you got to do is type in Beyonce in YouTube, um, Super Bowl 2015. And there you'll see, it's only a five-minute clip, but you'll see the guy that's her, her eyes turn jet black. And her neck gets really thick, like the God was saying. And then her tongue um, looks as though it has veins coming from it. Now, a brother is doing this from his um, TV. He's just slowing it down. Something just told him to slow it down. Then he going to all the Bible verses and get extreme and stuff with it. But it looks legitimate. Y'all going to have to let us know in the comments because we're going to upload it to YouTube. And then also, too, the God, that she even said that she embodies Sasha's fears. Right? She said that she allows this entity to come into her because she wouldn't be entertaining, you know, as Beyonce. So, um, not hating because Malachi of York said the same thing, right? And, you know, he's a master teacher. So, I'm trying to pass the mic off because I, I feel like that's, that's what it was, you know. So, I really don't know, you know. Right, I'm right. Well, y'all what I know. Right. Well, I mean, anyone, like you stated, can go and watch um, from her last Super Bowl, um, not this past one, but the last one. Um, but this last one, she has something very special for those who wanted to promote white supremacy. Um, she went in on the police brutality. She went in on um, the way that they left New Orleans um, in 2005 um, with Hurricane Katrina. Um, she showed that 
Matter of fact, she was on top of the police car, and she went underneath the water. And then, of course, uh, she shows the police car, and then on the wall right before it stopped killing us. Um, so, you know, she was making a, a very definite statement with that particular um, video. And the video, of course, is called Formation. Um, the new song is called Formation. She um, did perform that song at the Super Bowl. Um, of course, that rig behind Super Bowl. Um, <laughs> and if anyone want to talk about that, we can. Um, we know that there were certain things in which that was taking place with that Super Bowl, a lot of symbology, as the fact is, is that um, they were called the North Carolina Panthers. And, of course, the Panther is black. So, hence, somebody to the Black Panthers, and then, of course, um, the Broncos um, beat them, you know. I don't think it was no coincidence either that just about a week or so before, um, or around that same time of that week, they had O.J. Simpson Bronco chase as well as movie on, you know, at that same, you know, during that, around that same time yeah. in um, early February, you know, great. Yeah, go ahead, brother Al. Yeah, uh, they did have that. Uh, as Bronco about him, he wasn't running. It wasn't a chase, really. He was a uh, driver was driving at a normal right. pace. <laughs> right, right. But of course, they kept saying it was a chase. But of course, we watching how's it going to be a chase when the dude going like thirty five, forty five miles an hour? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> but that's what they say. You know what I'm saying? But um, go, go ahead, brother. I just wanted to get that in. Yes, another thing too. Um, what do any, anyone know about Beyonce having a Bay put at the end of her name? Well, you know her name is Bay Once, B E Y O N C E, Beyonce. Um, but it's Bay. They could refer to her in the media as Queen Bay. Okay, that's how they refer to her. It's Queen Bay. Um, so. Uh, we know that Jay Z go back to his um, before the Hawaiian um, Sophie uh, music or you know or song. He actually had a song with Jazz, with, um, with Brother Jazz, in which that uh, they hold up a picture of Dr. Malachi Zidoku, who was known then as Imam Misa, you know. Uh, so hmm. he was reading or following the teachings at that time. He was also a, a, a known five percenter, in which that here recently he was wearing and sporting on many occa uh, 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 many occasions. You know, sporting the five percent, you know, uh, medallion, you know, gold medallion, um, in which that it was the universal flag. You know, the eight points as well as also the seven. You know, in the center. The circle, the sun, the moon, the crescent moon, star, you know, the universe, which is actually comes up to 22 points. Now, for anyone who studied the five percent information, the 22 points symbolizes master builder um, number within numerology. All right? Um, All right. Of course, two plus two is four, which symbolizes the foundation, you know, the square, you know. Um, so we understand the symbolism that. Jay Z, you know, um, boy, you know, even um, Anthony Carmelo from the Knicks, he used to wear before even Jay Z, he used to wear the five percent um, universal flag medallion or necklace, right. you know, and that's yeah. really that's where they say that Jay Z got you know got his idea from was watching Anthony Carmelo from the Knicks, you know, um, you know, we don't know how much that you know true is, but of course we know that. You know, um, the Knicks is New York. You know, he um, is part owners or at one time was of the Nets. The, now, who was Brooklyn Nets? Um, now they're called not the um, New York Nets or the New Jersey Nets, you know, as they once, but now the Brooklyn Nets. So we know that they both in New York, of course, you know, have, um, I'm pretty sure they had ties, you know, but the 5% nation, we know that started or formed in 1966. Under Father of Law, known as Clarence Putin X, 13. Right. All right. And um, he was part of the Temple Number 7 up under 
Now, at, well, at that time in the 60s, up under Malcolm X, or El Hajj Malik El Shabazz, as he became known as a little bit later, or Omar Wali, um, his African name. Um, so we know, you know, that um, the teachings of the 5% deals with what we refer to as the student enrollment lessons coming from the Nation of Islam, you know, um, which becomes the 120 lessons within the Nation God's and Earth for the 5 percenters. Um, Brother L, I know you was in the Nation of Islam as well as, you know, I um, was yeah. myself as well as also a, a student up under Minister Farrakhan. Um, you know, um, what you want to expound on that and, and those connections there? Sure. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, my name was uh, Brother Robert 6X. All I right. was uh, the sixth Robert that got his ex in the St. Louis right. Territory. It was a territory. And uh, you had to write exactly as it is written. Uh, that Master for Art Muhammad uh, wrote the letter. You know, uh, you had to write that letter exactly, exactly. You know, I mean, your M had to be your M, your F had to be your F. You know, uh, uh, it was no room for error on that letter. And you had to be that right to perfection before you even get your ex. Then you, you, after you've done that, then you uh, deal with the students in Roman and the actual facts, and was dealing with how many, how how much water we have on the earth, uh, uh, how much is the, uh, how many miles is the land, the square land per mile. Uh, then you have to remember all those. You know, word for word, before right. we even move, in, move anywhere else. Right. So that's the way it was. Right, and that's how it still is. Um, Goddess, I know that um, you was part of the five percenters, Nation of Gods and Earth. You want to add on? Absolutely. Um, I was called C Asia, and um, it was difficult, I would say, because um, my mother didn't teach me to be. Um, underneath anyone, and I know I might be rubbing some people the wrong way, but I just I wasn't. We were taught to be next to. And right, so you wasn't to, most um, necessary, but secondary. <laughs> no, and then I also would wear my head wrap, you know, up like the Nation of Islam. They wear their head wraps down. So I remember the sister just deliberately just pulled my little head wrap up that day, and then you know I just. And then also, so I went through the School of Christianity, so we were like, come as you are. So since it was 100 degrees outside, I did have my shoulders out. But you can't do that at the Nation of Islam. So, no, so it was just, that was you my just, experience. You, 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 you I do need to my sister. I do appreciate the discipline. I do appreciate the discipline for those who need it, but I've never been a host. I didn't need the discipline. Um. You know, I just acknowledge that my ancestors, they wore less than that. They wore twigs and leaves, you know. So to have your shoulders out, it just didn't seem fathomable that the brothers couldn't learn. So well, I, know I, mean, I, mean, I mean, I'm glad you make a mention of this because um, there was people that was tripping on the outfits, um, you know, during the that Super Beyonce Bowl. There was also in the video of Beyonce with the formation with the ladies wearing leotards. Um, you know, stockings, leotards, whatever the case is, um, and them gyrating and bouncing around, you know, you know, it seems as niggas, you know, never seen Beyonce bounce before. But it was really the Europeans in which I was really, you know, having a problem with it because of her lyrics and because of the illustrations and the depictions that she was putting in the video. Um, you know, I mean, she starts off the song, you know, uh, you know, talking to us, really. You know, talking about, you know, chill with that Illuminati mess, you know. And basically what she said, she said, uh, uh, um, y'all haters are corny with that Illuminati mess, you know. And what she meant by that is that um, many of say that her and Jay-Z are Illuminati and that, you know, that, that, you know, she hasn't had a sacrifice yet. But when that sacrifice is coming, you know, will it be her sister, um, um, Solange, will it be... Um, the child, the baby, you know, um, which, by the way, was, um, um, you know, um, you know, she was in the um, video, you know, um, what's her name? Her name is Blue, right? Yeah, Blue Ivy. Right, Blue Ivy, and she was in the video um, showing up quite a bit with her afro, and that's what Beyonce said. She said, 
you know, um, I like my baby with an afro. <laughs> my baby here like with an afro. Baby with baby hair and afro. Oh, I love right, her. Right, right. She likes her baby <laughs> here with an afro. <laughs> As melanated people, right, we have got to check ourselves. Anytime you ha- you run in your mouth and you speaking negatively about your own people, then you out of line and you wrong. Yeah. The thing is, you have to understand is you're going to do it the way that you see fit to do it. And you got to respect the way somebody else sees to do it because it's so much that needs to be done. That's the problem, I feel like, with the Morris movement. Everybody want to act like I, I'm the one who did it. I'm the one. Me. Me. It, it can't be me. It got to be we. Turn that W and make it a W. Make that M a W. Real talk. We have to because that's why we're going to be stagnated or slowly moving because it's not stagnated. It's like an right. ant holding back a tidal wave. It's definitely not stagnated, but I'm just want us to check ourselves because this is how you um pull pull each other down. Yeah, we know we're not um in the um in our natural environment, but we can create our natural environment. What I thought, you see. So I just I just want to see. I, I just want us to check each other and ourselves when we're talking about other people who adding on. You know, mm. well, but I'm no very doubt. proud of so, me. Mm. Got out right. there and well, enhancing the um, afro. Got out there enhancing the gyrating hips. Would you um? Would you alike and um share if it was uh, um from Africa? You know, you got that chocolate sister from Africa with nothing on, and she got the bone through her nose. Oh, that's beautiful. It's beautiful too when um Beyonce get out there with the Puerto Ricans, the Born Connians, and mm-hmm. the um the Moore sisters out there. It was just as beautiful. Well, you know, speaking we can't speaking of that, that, speaking of the Moore, she showed at least 13 clips of the more standing next to her in the video. All right, there was 13 clips. And, of course, the number 13 symbolizes a new beginning. The number mm-hmm. 13, that's what it symbolizes, a new beginning. Um, that's why the European don't use the 13, um, like in New York and different other places, you know, in their floors. When you go up on the elevator, you know, it skips 13 and go to 14. So it's 12 and then 14 floor. You know, they don't use 13 because that became because taboo. Number. Wow. That became yeah, taboo for them. Number. But it's it also our number. And look. so she showed the more 13 times in the clips. Just go and count. And so that symbolized the fact that the um, that the Moorish information is a new beginning um, for us. And being that the 5% is so close to the 5%, um, the 5% nation of the gods and earth is so close to the Moorish paradigm because that should be one in the same family, you know. Um, when you look at the universal flag, you know, that's a circle seven, you know, partially. And then you have the nation of Islam with the crescent moon and the star, you know. Um, so when you put those two together, it forms what is now known as the universal flag of the nation of gods and earth, the five percentage. All right, so the, actually the that is the combination of the nation of gods and earth. Um, what they did was combine the Nation of Islam along with the Moral Science Temple of America teachings. Essentially, that's what they were showing through the combination. Um, Shamgard was showing that, you know, from from when he made that flag, you know, um, you know, back in the um, late '60s, and, and showing, you know, those connections. But most people can't even see, you know, in the video. Not only did she show the more with the Fez or Tor Bush. Um, some were saying, well, you know, I know that was a servant because it didn't have a tassel on it. Well, I'm going to tell you, all right, that was a fez. Regardless if it had a tassel or not, a tassel is symbolic to not being tied down, um, at least the ones that we wear as more as being 360 degrees in rotation. We're able to swirl it around in all directions. Um, the fez itself as Taj teach, as was the Great Seal, the Clock of Destiny teach, is symbolic to the womb, all right? So really, we're wearing the womb on top of the head, um, in which mm. that the red symbolizes the blood in which that is shed um, um, monthly oh. um, from the woman during the menstrual cycle or menses, um, showing that our crown is still tied to the woman as we sit on her throne, as which that even in ancient comedic teachings or Tamari, Tamarian teachings, um, our saw sat on the throne of our set. The chair, the throne was symbolic to our set herself as the um, backbone and as um, the foundation 
in which that we need to tie ourselves to. Brother L, I know you done wrote the book. Go ahead, Ali. Brother, Brother L, you done wrote the book on the on what the Fez and Tall Bush means. So I know I got to get you up in here. Come on. Yeah, brother. Yeah, brother. Yeah, I got them. I'm, th- I'm really, uh, right on the circle seven, and uh, I, as ties to Freemasonry, uh, as ties to the uh, Secret Doctrine Part One and Part Two of Madame Blavatsky. Uh, I'm, 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 I'm gonna bring that with me when I come down there. All the paperwork with me when I come down there and see what you and Kadir think about it, and uh, so y'all can get it published, whatever. And uh, this, yeah. I think this, I think most boys would like it, would love it. I put it that way. Right. And what you think about the origin of the Feds and the Tall Bush? What what what, oh, what can you the, share with the audience? Well, the Fed. Well, you, well, you got two. Uh, the Feds uh, really is 720 degrees. You got 60, right. 360 degrees on top, and you got on 360 top. degrees at the bottom. Ooh, there you go. And you got four get, quarters get on top of the Feds. Right. Represent the four quarter moons. Uh, right. You got uh, the, the the umbilical cord, uh, right. the navel, uh, and plus the tassel, as you already said, the 360. Well, it's symbolic of the 360 degree strands, but we know we don't have 360 degrees on strands on there because if we did, it'd be too heavy uh, for, uh, 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 to wear wear them, you know. But, right. uh, but right. it is and it's moon. 18 inches long, and the 18 inches symbolizes the 18 inches of the spinal column, which at the 18 vertebrate is the heart, mm. which happens to pump the red blood through our veins and capillaries and arteries. Um, so I want to say that too. Go ahead, Brother Al. And you know, uh, lately for the last month or two, I, I, I would say since October, I've been wearing a lot of turbans and my fez, fezes and turbans lately. And I don't, I, I don't know, it's a feeling I got, you know, I wore a lot of turban. I mean, it's like I wore a red turban last Tuesday. Uh, Tuesday dealing with uh, Mars, the, the, the angry red planet. A red shirt along with that, a red T-shirt along with that. Uh, you know, it, 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 to bring out the uh, laboratory energies of that day. You know, and uh, I've, I've been wearing a lot of. Spe- I mean, for some reason, I, I, when I first joined the movement, I didn't wear them that often. But I got this some, for some kind of fit, for some kind of reason. Uh, I wear the faces and the turbans a lot, a lot more. Right. Everywhere right. I go, to the store, uh, to the movies, to uh, wherever. Got you. All right. So um, before we go on, I want to get back to what she said about your haters corny with that Illuminati mask. Who's the Illuminati? The Illuminati. If you go and check the Rosicrucian degrees or part of the highest degrees in the Rosicrucian order of Amarch, in which that is the Illuminati, hence the Illuminated Ones. Um, now, of course, you have the ability to gauge yourself if you have a soul um, to be able to be honorable, to have integrity, to be forthright, to be honest, to um, be truthful. And the words that you speak for your word is your bond. Now, at the same time, this is what they teach, but individuals have the ability in order to turn towards the dark side, just like we see in Star Wars. You know what I'm saying? And this is what happens. So we see that there was individuals who were able to gain access to not just spiritual knowledge, but also monies, finances, funds, you know, and these Illuminati members become what we call the Ashters, the Bundys, the Collins, the DuPonts, the Morgans, the Lees, the Freemans, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, the Merovingians, the Van Dyne, the Canoop, the Disney, uh, the McDonald's, uh, the Russell, all right, uh, the Rothschilds. So... Uh, the Kennedys, the Onassis, these are, you know, 13 or more top Illuminati families, and they marry into each other in order to make sure that they keep the funds within the family as well as also the bloodline, all right? Um, a lot of these individuals, based on reports, y'all heard um, Sister Flora Byrne on here, 
um, a couple of times, and she broke it down that, of course, you have O negative blood type, A negative blood type, um, AB, and B negative blood type. The ones with negative blood type, based on their inability, you have the eyes to be able to change from a reptilian-like or slit or cat-like slit down the center of the eyes because of the emotional turmoil in which that takes place, in which that it destabilizes the emotional body. And so um, you notice that a lot of these um, so-called, quote-unquote, elite, said elite, um, have these capabilities. And so in order to keep their human composition together, um, they they is said to drink blood and um, have to produce, you know, um, sacrifices um, to these entities on the fourth and second, or well, the first and second overtone level of the fourth dimension, and so forth and so on. Um, not to have anybody bugging out, but we're just breaking down um, these Illuminati, you know, rituals and these individuals. Y'all probably heard all of this before, so this shouldn't become as no surprise. But um, these things has happened, all right? Um, by her saying that she's not with the Illuminati and by Jay-Z in his last album saying that he's not with the Illuminati, they're trying to tell you that um, they're God body. That's what Jay-Z actually said, as a matter of fact. I'm God body. So he was saying that he's a part of the nation and God's on earth. And, of course, that's his wife. So you don't think that they're going to talk about you know, these types of things. And she goes on further, you know, when she says, my daddy's Alabama, you know, my mother's Louisiana. Now, my daddy my daddy is Alabama, you know, well, when you check the indigenous tribes of Alabama, that's the Creek, which is the Muscogee and the Choctaw. And then said, my mama's Louisiana, well, that's the Choctaw as well as also Washita. You know, mm-hmm. and you have the um, the Mardi Gras Indians, which she shows actually in the video. All right? If y'all watch the formation video, she shows, you know, um, the Mardi Gras Indians in there. You know? And so that, that's, that's another level of the information right there. She's trying to tell you, and who's the Mardi Gras? Um, you know, um, Indians. They are they are, they are said Seminole, but these are um, the indigenous tribes from out of New Orleans, from out of Louisiana. All right, and she's saying that that's part of her heritage and culture. All right, um, she also shows um, that. Well, she also goes into it said. Um, you mix that Negro with that Creole, make a Texas Bama, all right? So the Negro portion, she was saying, was her daddy, but who is the Negro? The Negroes are the Aboriginal, Indigenous, so-called Black Americans, all right? Um, and we're using terminology that you're used to so that you can get some clarity on what's going on here. And so, of course, when we say Indigenous, we're talking about by definition, even coming from the United Nations, it states specifically that those who have a historical continuity here prior to the invasion of their territory by the Europeans, here meaning in North America specifically. And then it states in part two, as well as those who was brought here to the New World who freed themselves and, be, and wished to be reattached to the culture they've been torn. So this is even for those 15% of our family members from Africa who came here on the slave ships through what is referred to as the transatlantic slave trade. Um, Even though we have not seen any official ships as of yet, it's been 150 years, and I can't believe that the Albion has not um, replicated a ship as of yet. You know, of course, shoot, in 150 years, there should still be one, you know, or two, 
or maybe, you know, I'm thinking anyway. I mean, hell, they they just found the damn boat all the way in damn Egypt, dating back to four four thousand five hundred years ago. You know, um, you, you know, I, I'm thinking that it got to be. Yeah, I'm thinking that it got to be at least one somewhere. But that's been a problem also, you know, in which that uh, if there is, you know, they. they I know what the Smithsonian has said. The Smithsonian said that they're going to put a replica together for the new museum of African history that they have, um, you know, that they have opened. You know, so they're putting one together, but it's a replica. So, you know, whatever these ships was made out of, you know, obviously was not the greatest. Um, it was not preserved greatly, you know. But anyway, you know, she said, uh, when you mix that Negro with that Creole, um, or um, the Washita, um portion, as the word Um uh, when we say wash Dedugdamanya, which means we dig the mounds, or that actually is Creole. So um, Washita is also Creole. Creole is a is um, is allegedly the French, the Moorish, Negro, um, or African blend, um, all in one. All right. Um, you know, Brother L, you want to go further on that because you have. Well, um, let me Choctaw. let me jump in. Let me, I got oh, to jump okay, in. Okay, I'm okay, okay. Um, um, let, all right, let the goddess jump in, um, and I, I'm going to get direct right. to you, Brother L. Go ahead. Okay. Um, okay, so if you're on the mailing list, then you, have, you would have gotten the flyer with the fares on there. So when I'm looking at the more with the fares on, he's looking at you eye level. His servants. I don't get that. Um, I would get more God. I would get more protector, you know, because he's to the right of her. And, and she actually put uh, her hand so, out and, um, like, she's pointing towards him. You know what I'm saying? She actually put her right hand out in the video pointing towards him. Right. So it's protector. It wasn't servant. But I don't want us to um, take a, the negative connotation for servant either because if you are punching a clock, then that's also servitude. Um, and I know for us as servants of the people, as crown prince and princess of the United Washington, we are constantly serving the people. That is not a negative position to take. But again, it wasn't a servitude position because he's looking you dead in your eyes. Most servant positions, they look down. You see? Um, right. Also, too, the 13 vibration, um, that's divine love. And for a mother to have her baby in the video, and that baby is, she got her hands on her hips, and she's a proud baby, you know? So to have your baby in the video, that's divine love. I also want to look at um, the um, the halftime show. You had Bruno Mars and his cypher, and they were showing strength, and they were also being exalted. It was like they were trying to balance the homosexual vibe that the European is pushing so that we don't um, over, so that we don't populate and um, exterminate them. And then you have the goddesses on the field, which was down. They were sort of like down, and they did their thing. And then they came and brought the balance. They got, exalted themselves up the stairs to where Bruno Mars was, and then they all started dancing together. So it was a balancing vibration while the European is over there with rainbow shoes and rainbow everything trying to take our chakra colors and trying to push everybody towards homosexuality. And maybe that is their, maybe that is, that should be exactly how they're going so they can stop populating the, um, the planet. Um, so we can't hate on that either because everything is divine. Um, let me see. Also, too, I want to touch bases on last year's um her face forming into this other entity. See, a lot of us, when we're talking, we don't have the camera on our face. You know, we may see it happen on other people, but you you don't know if your own face is changing as you're incorporating more of your divine mission and more of your divine self within you. See, we are only utilizing 3 to 10% of our brain because we have been miseducated and taught to be self-sabotaging. You see what I'm saying? How can a youngest person on the planet teach you how to be God? So as we are incorporating more of our divine self, we're supposed to be housing more light in which the physical body won't even be able to house the full body of God. Mm. So I, I, I think because she has cameras on her that can slow down and speed up, she, you can see her morphing. 
when she's having different thoughts and everything like that. But we all, I think we all do it because we all are dimensional. If you are ever having a dream, if you're dreaming in color, you're dimensional. If you have dreams, period, and remember them, you're multidimensional. If you have emotions, you're multidimensional. You know, but who sits in the mirror and cries and takes it? And then goes back and slow motions it, you know? So you don't know if your face is changing too. Um, also too, if you want to get on the mailing list, just go to the website, dralinealbay.com. It's at the bottom on the home page. Matter of fact, on all the pages, and just enter your email address, and um, so you can be on the email listing. Um, also too, um, I'm always trying to make sure that y'all know that we are adding on and building because I'm just so grateful to those who are servants to whoever. Um, in order to bring FRNs to us, you know, because y'all honor us, we honor you right back. You know, I just want to um, let y'all know that there is a coupon code for the website. It is sold to love, the number two. So sold to love, that's five dollars off. Um, it will be in fully function for the next seven days, um, and then also for the next seven days, Dr. Eileen's book is thirty-five dollars off. Can y'all believe that? Thirty-five dollars off. So it's 35% off. Um, so um, go get you one copy, go get you two copies, what have you, get it. Um, you don't need a coupon code for that. And then also, too, we have really developed the um, Moore's Build community. It is going to be $15 a month, but there you will receive a depth chamber information as well as um, different um, meditations and things that you can utilize in order to apply in your life to make your life better. Um, again, that's morrisbill.com. It's going to be the Indigenous Cosmic Golden Ray Order of Melchizedek community. Um, so definitely sign up with that. Check that out. But back on the um, topic. Um, oh, I'm sorry. I also got to make one more announcement. Um, our annual conference, our 16th annual conference is going to be March the 18th, 19th, and 20th. We're really excited about that. Um, so get, reserve your space. Um, the, um, the trailers are full. Um, but you can stay on the lane if you bring your own tent, um, or you can just get a nearby hotel that's around. But um, personally, I'm proud of Beyonce. You know, she is utilizing her ability, her power. In one day, she had over 5 million views, you know. And for her to be standing up there, enhancing natural hair and, um, and formating, for the women to get into formation to add on, I, I, I can't hate on her. I won't. Outstanding. The way Brother L, um, <clears throat> we, we was asking you also um, about, you know, your heritage is being Choctaw, um, your grandmother and everything, and, um, you know, what you want to say about um, about the Choctaw indigenous heritage of um, said black folks within that area. Yes, uh uh, she also comes from the Louisiana area. Right. Uh, same, same place. That's why I'm asking you. Louisiana <laughs> area. Uh, her name was East Star. And I thought maybe maybe, uh, they, maybe maybe they were saying another name. But she said, no, her name, they said, uh, my mother told me, no, her name is East Star, spelled E-A-S-T dash S-T-A-R. That's her name, East Star. Dolph. I said, oh, okay. Because I talked to Brother uh, Shabazz Bay, he's in Louisiana, but the Washita, and he said, yeah, that's funny because there are a lot of East Stars down this way. And I was like, hmm. Oh, okay. <clears throat> so you, he said, he said, you, he said, there's no doubt about it uh, that you are definitely bloodline to the Choctaw Washita Empire Nation. You know, you and your family. So I said, yeah. I said, no doubt about it, because I always do a lot of uh, call different places and ask questions, and uh, to you know try to try to really confirm that, you know. And uh, so I know y'all already have a picture of me and my face and my uh, great great grandmother's picture. Uh, someone told me they saw it on the website. Right. I, I didn't know y'all yeah. had it on the website. Well, we we had. We know you new to the um, internet world. <laughs> Right, right, yeah, right. But we'll see yeah. the link in your email. Right, we have okay. you on there, on there as a chief. So, yeah, you can definitely go there and check it out. It's on the website on um, United Washington Reclamation Process. 
Mm, okay, all right, all right. So um, uh, I think Brother Akio told me that. Right. He said he saw, and uh, like I said, it's just, uh, it's just uh, man, I'm like, I've been, like I said, I've been wearing a lot of feds and turbans uh, a whole lot lately, you know. But it's just the past maybe uh, three month, three or four months. And uh, I guess it's a new uh, vibrational energy that I'm getting. You know, from you all and uh, from the uh, cosmic, the cosmic energy that I'm getting from the universe. Right. You right. got to be it. Well, you know what? I want to um, take this moment out to just thank Crown Prince Ramesses Abel Bay, you know, because if it wasn't for him, you know, we wouldn't have known our connection to the Washita either, you know. So I'm just, I'm grateful for him. And it's important to have a teacher, you know. Yeah, we got go. I wish uh-huh. I knew. I wish I, I got a chance to knew uh, the person you're talking about. Uh, what's his name? Crown Prince Ramesses Abel Bay. Okay. Yeah, he was a beautiful brother, guy. He was very um, well educated and the spiritual art. You know, it definitely was a treat to have met him. Boy. Yeah. Oh. Right, and of course he was given that title June seventh, nineteen ninety nine, by the Empress um, herself, um, as a birthday gift to him. She bestowed that title upon him, Crown Prince of the Empire. Washto de Dugdamanya. He came to us in two thousand and three, and made us chiefs uh, for life. You know, and that basically told us that we had a mission to do, and so basically all of this is just part of the mission. You know, we know that the Washington Nation of Moors are indigenous people of the North America. You know, they're also called as the Ashita, um, otherwise known as the Omec, you know, um, that has been, you know, originally associated with the Washita. So accordingly, the Washita has been the primary group of a more general population of indigenous people identified in history as Amoru, you know, in other words, the Moors, you know, spelled M-U-U-R-S or M-O-O-R-S, you know. And which basically ties us back to the land. And yeah. he gave us Ikram, which is the indigenous cosmic golden ray order of Melchizedek. It's a Peruvian healing science. And he also gave us um, United Washita. And, you know, with it, we have dealt with it as honorably as we can, as honorably as we know how. Um, every single dime goes into building. It's not for personal gain. It's for um, growth. As a matter of fact, our conference is three is three days out the weekend, and well, it's the weekend, and it's one hundred and fifty dollars. That includes food. It also includes um, um, certification, and also if you stay on the land. So um, people have even called us and like it includes the food too. <laughs> you know, yeah, you know. So you know, who can do a, a, a weekend retreat? Um, with all of that for 150, you know, so, I, you know, I mean, those with eyes to see know that we're giving back and adding on, um, and we, it's what we have to do. It's what we have to do. Um, yeah. Dr. Aileen, um, well, the majority of the time is to get, put out more information, more updating, revising it, um, making it more accurate. As a matter of fact, he has three books that are finished. So, um, they will be, um, published. If you could give them the title so people could be looking for them, God. Um, they'll be finished by um, April. Okay. Right. That's the kingdom of God. Um, the kingdom of heaven is within you, um, as well as also um, the blueprint to great health, you know, the keys to immortality, longevity, regeneration, um, as well as also um, the divine hymns of Akhenaten, uh, Unten, the power of Psalms. Um, aromatherapy um, with incense, you know, so forth and so on. So those are the three um, books that we have right now. Matter of fact, we might have one ready before the conference, so we're going to try to get one out, actually, um, okay. before then, which is the smaller one, which is the Divine Hymns of Aten, Akhenaten. Yes. As soon as I get through with this book, The Circle 7, I'm definitely going to uh, donate as the, as to the to the, donate as a fund to the what you uh, you and Kadira building down there? I want that the sales of that book to, to go to y'all. You know. Well, you know, you won't get it right back, brother L, because you know anything in which that we make, we will actually give it back to you too. So <laughs> we just regenerate and we 
on financing each other. So that's that's a beautiful thing. Okay. That's deep because um, it'll definitely right. go back to the people because um, blog talk is not expensive, but it's not free. And then neither is um, none of the websites. They're all also a monthly cost, um, you know, as well as building. So it, it definitely goes back. Now, we did purchase a dump truck um, for the prison ministry, and it's not in fully operational yet, but we have it. It's like you, you gather it um, so that um, – so that when the time is ready, you have what you need in order to manifest. So um, that's that's what it is. Yeah. Yeah, I purchased a dump uh, truck. <laughs> yeah, God, you purchased wow. a dump truck for the prison ministry for the for the for the masculine vibing um the I should say the yang vibing um energy people because I don't want to just say this for the male, but um we need to be employing our own seeds. We cannot expect them to um not compromise if they don't have something to build with. And right now, the Caucasian is trying to push a homosexual agenda. Now, we don't disrespect homosexuals because there are homosexual people that we build with. However, um, I feel like, too, that is um, by design, purposely, either because of the food. And how we know is because if those frogs weren't changing their sex and if the fish weren't changing their sex because of the chemicals they were eating, then they wouldn't, they wouldn't be trying to be something that they're not. So um, Europeans are manipulating chemicals and the food and the water supply. And, I mean, actually, I'm glad we talked about that, too, because in Flint, Michigan, um, the Cypher, they have been making um, videos of the water supply. Some people got water supplies, some puffy cones, and, and they, they they have these um, lead indicators that are mm. sick. Once they put the tip of it in the water, it will tell them if there is lead in the water. Well, Normally, people aren't just testing their water, but for them, they have to because of serious. So they're testing the water and finding out water that's coming from all over. It has lead in it. You see? Hmm. So that's wow. serious. And, they, you know, and, and that's by design. And also, too, when they ended up testing the water um, in depth, the news um, coverage had tested it. They're finding epileptic medicine in the water, mental illness, health, and <laughs> patients' medicine. They're cool. saying how it's getting in there is from people who are um, taking the medication and then using the bathroom, and then, you know, all the water gets recycled and cleansed out. Well, they're cleansing out feces and urine. They're not mm. cleansing out medication. Right. So the medicine going in back, back into our drinking water supply um, undetected because it's not detectable. So I mean, this is this is this is inevitably what you have when you have the youngest people on the planet running the planet. You know, mm. period. Point. Blank. That's just so what that's it is. That's what's going on. Okay. Mm-hmm. So I'm so grateful that the um that the celebrities are finally speaking out, even if it's for just my my new situations like the Oscars. You know what I mean? They are speaking out where they can. You know, and I'm I'm proud of them, and I know it's because of the grassroots. You know, but they have people like uh, Ice Cube, and they say they want looking nothing from from uh, the uh, looking for no Oscars or nothing like that. They're just doing their thing, what they need to do. You know. Mhm. But then I had someone else said that uh, Ice Cube is lying because if they offered him an Oscar, he would take it. Well, who wouldn't? You know, who wouldn't? And we all know that Oscar is a symbolic to our ancestors, um, um, Osiris. Right, Mm -hmm. Osiris, Osa, right. Mm -hmm. Um, That matter of fact, listen to the word Oscar and listen to the word Osa. It's what it's saying. Phonetic sounding. You know, so all they're doing is re-giving us back um, what's already ours, and that's what makes us want it. Um, The only thing we have to do is um, get control of the lower nature and stop bad mouthing each other and entertaining it. Yeah. Well, we, we we also seen too um, that that this conscious thing is coming back around, and now of course, like we just said, that they want to try to add in the homosexual vibe into the conscious movement. Now um, we see that right. you know you have J Cole, you have Beyonce now with the consciousness coming back, the Black Panther thing. And yeah, I mean, what she wore actually was the X, which is modeled for Malcolm X. Um, Michael, uh, Michael Jackson wore the X, you know. Also, um, you know, 
Uh, was, you know, I think it was um, doing his um man. What was that tour that he did? I can't remember the name of the Danger. tour, but it was. Yup, that was the tour, oh, right? The so. Man in the mirror? Right, right, right. So he wore the X also, which was symbolic once again to Malcolm X. You know, um, you know, and of course you see the raise the black fist. You know, same thing that happened during the um, 1960s, um, you know, 70s, you no know, uh, early 70s, late 70s, uh, late 60s. Um, when we see that in the um, in the um, in the Olympics, the two brothers holding up their fists, you know, in which that they were stripped of their gold medals, you know, because right. of that. Right. You know, right. so um, she showed that, you know, what I'm saying also in the video, as well as also, you know, um, at the game. You know, as part of the halftime game, you know, and she she makes mention of the fact too, you know, being you know happy with her nose, you know what I'm saying? Uh, uh, as a matter of fact, she she um she says it, you know. Um, go back to the lyrics. She says right here is that um, you know, I like my Negro nose with Jackson Five nostrils. <laughs> Ooh. <laughs> Wow. You know, wow. I mean, yo, right there. I mean, that just put a hole in it because if you go to um, Kemet or Tamari, Egypt, as we refer to it as, you'll see that the noses are blown off um, a vast amount of the statues or figures, figurines, you know, um, because the nose is one of the phenotypes in which that shows how it, uh, as they say, the Negro features, you know, and so that's what she was saying in this song. You know, she goes further, um, and she said, yo, um, I like cornbread and collard greens, bitch. (laughs) 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 You know, um, um, come to find out that her and Jay-Z are now vegan. You know, they're vegans now. So she ain't say, um, um, you know, um, ham hocks. You know what I'm saying? She just said the cornbread and collards, you know. Um, And for old blood types, collards are very good. All right? So... (laughs) And I'm glad you said that because we also have, um, in addition to the ancestral teas, we're going to have a blood type um, blends out as well. So that's coming. That's also coming, guys. We be we be building. Um, I hope that y'all are getting inspired. Also, too, Waka Flocka. I hope I'm saying his name correctly because it's Flocka Waka yeah, too. I think Waka Flocka. But yeah, he's go ahead. vegan. So this is why Beyonce and and um, you know other celebrities are losing all this weight because they're not consuming this stuff and that's also why they're able to think clearly and they're not having the fear from the hormones from the animals that are being slaughtered and it going into the meat and then it and then in, in turn going into their physical body um um also to here's the challenge so if you have something negative to say about somebody just think about the positives that they're doing right. as well you know so um so that that'll help um, she said cornbread and collard greens. She didn't say pork, <laughs> you know. Exactly. And, you know, so I'm I'm proud of that. Um, exactly. And then Philip M. Wiley, I just want to give a shout well, out to that, him that's because, because a recent a recent um, article came out um, in which that stated specifically that her and Jay Z are now vegans. Mm-hmm. All right. Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. Until they can go into the industry and probably, you know what I mean? They got the money um, so they can, so we can start processing our own food. You know what I mean? It's the lesser of two evils. You got to deal with it because they also doing it to the vegetables, you know? So, I mean, you know, it's, it's a catch 22 until we can do better. Um, right. Um, right. Philip and Uwali, I want to give a shout out to him because he created the internet. And um, that's why you see the HTTP, which is Hotep. And he um, he's the one who helped to put the nail in his coffin. See, Beyonce don't have to, you know, um, you know, whore herself out and and do the boss mint motorcycles alongside of um, other demonic um, um, singers and songwriters and da 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 da. Because now we have YouTube, and YouTube can make you. You see, you don't have to sign all these contracts. As a matter of fact, last year they were angry with Beyonce when she dropped her album. Nobody knew. It was just a flat-out surprise. She was able to monetize the clicks overnight. And, um, you know, um, Walmart wouldn't sell her stuff. It was either Walmart or Target. They were angry. Like, how dare you do this without us? You know? So it left them scrambling how to take this new world 
and make money off of it, you know. So I'm really proud of her, and I feel like that's why she has a voice now because um, because she doesn't have to answer to people who would be, you know, controlling the stream. Indeed. Um, we're going to go to the phone lines now for those that want to call in. Get your pen and paper ready and give us a call at 626-414-3535. That's 626-414-3535. We're going to go to the phone lines right now. We've got area code 215. You're on the line. Hey, uh, Islam, how y'all doing? Hey, hey, hey uh, Islam, how you doing? I'm doing good. Um, one, one, one of the things in the video I wanted to uh, touch on, I don't know if you um, touched on it, uh, I called it. Um, uh, called in a little late, but uh, it's all right. She, I, I see that she, um, she's wearing a hat, uh, right? Which, which I, which was uh, represented just a Saturn, um, uh, you know, with, the, with the, the ring going around Saturn, and um, right. She's wearing, she's wearing all black, and she dropped a video on a Saturday. So that's one of the things that um, I kind of seen, and I wonder if you can kind of touch on that. Uh, right. Right. Well, I mean, concept. like like what you just dropped, you know, the ring symbolizes Saturn. The, the um the hat that she wore symbolizes planet, in which that Saturn symbolizes, um, you know, the planet of structure, the planet of discipline. You know, um, people want to see it as Saturn. Of course, we get the word Satan from. The reason why, um, it became Satan was because in order to discipline, you know, you must put Satan in his place, which is hence your lower nature, your lower self. So discipline comes with that structure. Organization comes with that. And that's what the um, planet um, Saturn symbolizes, you know. Um, God, did you want to go into the um, astrological points behind Saturn and what it means? Well, the dark hue, I, she's telling you that she's talking to the dark hued people who have the shines on their nose and their forehead. That's why they had, that's why it was um, accented with the gold. Um um, Saturn is the planet of discipline. Either you get it right or you have to keep repeating it and it get this this lesson gets harder and harder to deal with. Um, so dealing with dominance, dealing with um um laying a foundation that's strong, that goes with the thirteen. Um I I, I really I, I noticed that the halftime shows are usually more entertaining, but I was really proud of the goddess. I really was, because she using her influence to talk to the, the dark-hued people. And she let you know from the Afro to their outfit. You know, they were Black Panther outfits. You know, so. Right. Well, they wore the Tams, in which that was one of the um, traits of the Black Panthers, yeah. the mm -hmm. Black Tams, you know. And so, you know, um, they wore that as well as also she wore the hat, you know, within the video of the formation and wish that that's the hat he's talking about and wish that was a big hat and wish that, you know, big black hat, you know, you know, essentially, of course, you know, um, they would tell you that the roughest, toughest cowboy back in the days wore the black hat, you know, um, and here she was wearing it. Then at the end of the video, she gives the middle finger to those that don't like it. <laughs> she told you, you know what I'm saying? Yo, F you, you don't like this? Me standing up for you know for the people that um that died in Katrina for the people that you killing you know during your police brutality you know what I'm saying for the Moors the ones that you slaughtered which I have one right here next to me you know what I'm saying and we coming back into that Moorish Renaissance coming back into that knowledge itself he go to Native Americans you know what I'm saying um, um referred to as the indigenous people of of Louisiana the Choctaw you know the Washita you know that she said she was related to symbolically through. The video, I mean, I mean, the symbolism was just too real. It was, it was a lot in there, you know. So um, I'm gonna go back to the, I'm gonna go to the phone lines. Continue on because we got more callers. Appreciate you calling. Thank you for calling in. No problem. Thank you. Yeah. Nobody. Thank you so much. All right. We got area code five four zero. Area code five four zero. You are on the air. Peace, peace, peace. Five four zero. I'm like she having her own lecture. 
All right, yeah, well, 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 Buzz, yeah, there's, there's yeah. some serious um, drag behind that. <laughs> All yeah. right, we're going to go to area code 978. Area code 978, you're on the line. And see, that's why we're doing what we're doing. It's, it's inviting yeah. conversation. That's exactly what Beyonce Peace. said, too. That's what we're talking about. Peace, yo. All right. Peace. Well, just texting in right here, yo. How y'all doing? God, How you doing? How you doing, How you doing Goddess? And, um, I'm doing good, guys. Thank I, you so much for asking all right, and and I'm just I'm just coming to share, share a little bit of light, you know, on some things. I mean, because yeah, I remember that, I kept telling y'all, come on, come on with it. Yeah, I told y'all in class, like I want to talk about the most um the most perfect agent, the agents in, in our time right now, and pretty much I I've been doing a little bit of research, and right. you know, pretty much the research that I've uncovered, you know, and, and and again, this is no different than you know when I sat through Brother Bobby battle for the African universe, you know, what I mean, eleven hour video, I had to sit through it and you know, kind of like tuck myself away and like watch it and, and internalize it and make my own judgment. And it's no different than when I sat through, obviously, like, you know, um, conspiracy, conspiracies of imprisonment and um, all your videos, brother. So, I mean, the information that I've uncovered, me and my queen and my homie, you know, we uncovered that um, there's not one person on the red carpet that has not gender swaps. You know what I mean? Because I even took it back to a long time ago, like back around the people that you're talking about, J.D. Rockefeller and um, Bundy's and all these people, all these people, there's videos on these people having switched their genders over, like they swapped their genders over to be a part of that lifestyle. Mm. So even in America, like, like Brother L, what would you say if I told you right now that Bill Cosby was a woman? And there's no way that he wasn't a woman or he wouldn't be followed around with HD cameras. You know what I mean? When, when I was oh, younger and watching him in Brooklyn, you know what I mean? I'm watching him in Brooklyn on the Cosby show, like Malcolm Jamal Warner, same thing. He's a female. Like, if we fast forward to right now, it's really destructive now because the hormone treatments are even stronger and they're even more pretty much current and advanced now. So now it's like, you know, you see all these shows, like, it's not where it was at before. It's not like the Jerry Springer stuff, like, when it was like people were looking bad. Like, that's what they used to be. And even for some of them, it wasn't even that. They weren't, they were passing, basically. Uh -huh. You got Richard Simmons is a woman taking testosterone hormones. like Because the goal is um, the homosexual uh, agenda, but the, the effemination of the black man agenda. It is that agenda, but it's just really a battle for the mind. Like, they had two Wong Fu. Like I said, all the evidence that I've uncovered, there's not one person on the red carpet that did not gender switch. The technology is that ill right now, and has been since the 90s, you know? Has been high since before I don't that. Know, but. I don't know. I don't know if I agree with that, God, because um, Bill Cosby I mean, been I, around since before the nineties. He's been around since before no, the nineties. No, I, I definitely have some things that I'm going to leave y'all with to go watch tonight because even Brother John Cash Bay, um, mm -hmm. one night we we both had misplaced uh, the the extension for the class and we were stuck in the old extension and we were talking and stuff. And this brother, when I told him some of this stuff, he first was like, he was like. He was like, I know you're not going to tell me Joe Jackson got his little girl walking around dressed like a boy and stuff. I couldn't even tell the brother that Joe Jackson's a female if he's on the red carpet. Like, everyone you see is the inverse. Like, when you're in Hollywood, it ain't just, it's Hollywood. weird. It ain't just going to be you come in as what you were born as. Like, they're going to use technology. They're going to switch your gender over. And what they're really going to do is remove you from society because, like, you don't even exist. You swapped your gender over. Plus, if I'm not mistaken, um, the hormones that pump through our body, which enable us for transformation and the maximum of our abilities, they, they work off of the testosterone, the estrogen, the stuff we, were, we was born with. So it really comes down to like, and I'm about to get into the rapper aspect of it in a moment. I'm not going to take the t too much time up, but, you know, it comes down to they'll give anybody, at, at this point right now, since money's not even real, we've known it's silver and gold. When they take a liking to you and want to use you for something, whether it's Nelly, who's a female, you know what I mean? Whether it's Terrence Howard from Hustle and Flow, who's a female, you know what I mean? Because even his, you look at the, the no, how the chin No, I don't. Goes. I do not know what you mean, God, because... No, I don't know either, brother. No, because, I'm going to leave you with some stuff before I go. I'm going to leave you with some stuff to watch because, because God, you I don't, cannot I, say it now. God, because, I, looked, because, I looked at some of the stuff and I felt like it was reaching. Um, not to disrespect you and your perspective. No, you know, no. But, um, in this day and age, hold on a second. In this day and age, if you look at um, Kardashian, um, he publicly became a woman in front of everybody because that's what they're trying to push. 
You see what I'm saying? I know. So it, it, it almost it, it almost comes down to this. Like when when we was in class and brother said that um, uh, brother Aline, you said that look at the the extents and the lengths they go through. Like they'll create a whole story about like Christopher Cologne. Like they'll create whole stories and circumstances and scenar- scenarios. But that's the same thing they've done with everybody in the red carpet. Like Bruce Jenner could have clearly been a female on hormone transplant, right, or hormone swapping. You see what I'm saying? That but then when did that. That's public. Everybody I, knows that that transformation took place. And since their agenda is to harmonize everybody, then why wouldn't they just publicly say that? You see what I'm saying? Sister, it's not but, men. But, but, it's not but men. God is, but, 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 but God is, you know that basically what it is is like we're not dealing with fools here. You know, we're dealing with um, meticulous insectoids. Like, of course they would do that. Of course they would make it public. Like, everything on TV that we're seeing on TV, like you got the Bounce Network, you know, you got Blackish, like, you know, like the like it's clearly the kids are swap genders. It's clearly that um, Anthony Hamilton is a female as well, and this sister he's got playing his wife from Girlfriends no. before. Like she, her, she she's looking the no. worst she's ever looked. Wow. She's looking the worst she's ever looked. You know. Well, listen, the homo. I, I mean, I mean, I'm gonna. I'm gonna like I said, you have to have more. You have to have more evidence to show me. No, yeah, no, no, because right now we're on the broadcast. No, that, so, so it's like right, right now we're talking, li- we're talking live about it right now, you know. Oh, but I've already done that. I definitely, I definitely would like to see the um, information concerning this. Um, because um, it sounds I interesting. To, I sense a goddess, you know. I sense a goddess. But we definitely need the information, you know, so we can, you know, so we can put it out, you know what I'm saying, to the public. I mean, I mean, this is I mean, I mean, I mean, you know, on another I level. I mean, 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 I, I you mean, put it like this. It when I showed it to you. I mean, hold, hold on, also, put it like this. Brother, the brother no, I'm is in St. Louis, Missouri. I'm from the show me state. You have to show me. No, no, also, hold, 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 hold. you're not letting us get our point out, and that that also too is like not that that's that's a telltale sign too. You know what I mean? No, 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 no. We we are obviously all shamans. We are obviously all you know what I'm saying like pharaohs and um healers and like people like like we are our finest from every lifetime right now. All of us are our are, are absolute finest. So I know there's no way to me, when I leave these couple things to start off your um, journey through it, I would say the first video is watch J.D. Rockefeller as a female. Type that in. Look at that. John Cash, baby. This brother wait, wait, wait. Right here. What was the name of it again? You say John D. Rockefeller as a female? J.D. Rockefeller is a female. Type that in and type in rapper game is a woman. Type those in. Those start the journey because those are, the, those are probably the most undeniable ones. Bill, Bill okay. Clinton in the George Bush video, the most right. undeniable ones. It, it almost comes down to that's what they do to live this lifestyle. Like, they basically split societies. You got people that, you know, raise their son and daughter as they're born. You know how it's natural supposed to be. Like, the boy is a man, you know what I'm saying, into a man. The baby girl right. goes well, into well, a goddess or a woman. Yeah, with um, Jaden and uh, Willow, you know what I'm saying, being raised by Will Smith and Jada Pinkett. So I understand what you're saying and the concept of that, you know. But um, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, thank you for the um for that um information, and we want to check that out. And um, shoot, we might have you on in order to go further on into some that's of that what, information. That's what I need. Uh, that's what I need because right. because so, so um, I, I, you know, I, let us check out those videos. Um, we want to check out John D. Rockefeller as a female game as a female. Well, so let me say one more thing. Check them let out. me say one more thing, please. Let me say one more and thing, please. Some because brother, so bro- brother John Cash Bay. But Brother John Cash Bay, the next morning when I woke up, he had posted 11 of the videos. He had friended me on Facebook. You know what I mean? Like, I, he went from saying to me that there's no way that he's even going to listen to what I'm saying. And the brother's posting how all the NBA players are swap genders. He's posting how all the boxers would have to be swap genders, even Floyd Money Mayweather. Like, that nigga was born. He wasn't born a man. Like, you see, his, when you type in somebody on Google, here's a trick. You type in the person's name you want to go kind of investigate, and you type the young, you type in a child, you type it in something next to it, and go look at T.I. as a 17-year-old girl, who's clearly a girl. You know what I mean? You could go look at young people as a young girl, like, because they got bags, and they, they this is prior or just as they started um, any treatment at all, because this is what I'm saying. Like, it has to be so orchestrated for it to be done this way. It means they pick someone out, and they come to you and talk to you, maybe like, Eight years before you come out. They'd already sat down and built you into this thing. It comes down to what we're seeing on TV. It's overly orchestrated. Like, everything. Like, I mean, these people are probably dead and clone. Like, when they show you their house somewhere and say, oh, Jay-Z, live, he got a jet and everything, a helicopter, that nigga's probably dead. You know what I mean? They probably put the duplicate out there because 
that's the level they're on. They ain't wasting no melanin. They make people into pills. And, and Eminem died in like 2007. They put the uh, biological robot of uh, of him out. And right, people the came clone. To I, got he's, I got he's, you. Okay, he's I see rapping. where you're going with that. I see where you're going he's with that. Rapping everything. So. So right, but I got a lot of calls crazy. on the line, so I'm gonna try to get back to the calls, and um, we're gonna try to stay in contact. You in class, so okay, you know, fine. hit me up, and um, once we see the videos, yeah. we, we'll bring you yeah. on. All right, all right you, you watch rapper game a woman, brother. All right, peace, peace brother. You already know, brother. Peace, 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 Okay, um, I seen the video and I wasn't the game one and I wasn't I wasn't impressed. Did I, wasn't I show you that one? Or did I show you? Baby, did you I show you Kyrie? Because we sat up here no. and let you talk for a whole five minutes, but you you won't let nobody else get a word in. That's not right. That's well, no, not I'm sorry. No, 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 I'm sorry. Line. Like no, I'm I said, we're gonna go to the phone line because we got more calls. No, I'll be back on the show. I'll be back on the show. Seven zero eight area code seven zero eight. You on the air? Okay, real quick. Okay. P seven zero eight. Yeah, this this Massa Musa L Bay. Peace God. Oh, peace God. God. Yeah, I was just calling in. You know, um, I was going had a couple questions. Uh, yeah, I was gonna touch on what he was saying. Yeah, I seen. You know, I heard of that too. But uh, it was basically like what I think about that is it, it's that they tapping into female energy, not that they change their damn gender. Okay. Exactly. Okay. You know, that's um, that's, 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 that's <laughs> better, brother. <laughs> right, yeah. Well, I'm something like that. able to make your point. But, uh, and then, you know, I had a question because a lot of things, you know, are uh, the feminine energy or whatever, uh, I was hearing people saying that, uh, you know, that uh, the woman can uh, have a baby without uh, without a male. And I was wondering, right. you know, where that's going right. and is it? The, uh, the proof. I know they say the Amazon ladies can right. do that, right? Well, 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 I can explain to you where a lot of that information comes from. You had an individual by the name of Hilton Hotima. He did the book called Secret of Regeneration. Right. And, of course, there's a science in which that is called, um, oh, man, what's the name of it? Um, uh, gosh, I can't remember right now. But there's a science of, of um, um, women having the ability in order to um, have what it is is fibroid tumors, and when they take these fibroid tumors out of the women, they have teeth, they have hair, and they have nails. So basically, it's dealing with the science of how everyone began with the XX chromosome, and then you have to sew up the the testicles, and before the babies can leave the hospital, their their testicles have to fall from heaven, you know, and it looks like a stitch, and the vagina was stitched up, you know. So that's the science, and I'm and honestly, I honestly, I feel like this is an exalting of the feminine energy because for so long, the feminine energy has been suppressed. You have brothers saying they need four women, you know, that's four equal in one. <laughs> Who has won ever before? Hey, I, 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 don't, I don't see. So, that. I, don't, I don't see. I, I mean, in our culture, we used to have more than one wife, though. And also in our culture, we used to have more than one husband. But these same brothers, this is unfathomable for them. Polygamy and polyandry, they in the same definition. You see? Uh, so, it's, but, but what I feel like, it's, a, it's a, in, um, a, high, a rise in vibration where the woman is being honored to the point where it's becoming imbalanced. Uh, you know, okay. I, when, when I looked at... Yeah. um. When I looked at the drag race with um, I looked at one episode of it and I was like, wow, no, they are honoring the woman. These men are sitting up here dressing like women, and they are honoring the woman. It's perverted, you know. It's imbalanced, but it's still honoring her. It's like, okay, you couldn't talk all this time. Well, I'm a man, and I'm going, I'm gonna dress up like you, and I'm gonna talk. You know, I'm gonna speak. I'm gonna make. I'm gonna say it for you. Right, but I don't see it as a form of um honor. I see it as a form of mockery. You know, that's the way I see it, a form of mockery. Mimic is a is a be, is the best form of flattery. Uh, hey, can you do can you do me a favor? Uh, can you send me that information? You know, on that uh, to my uh, to my email address. Absolutely, God. All right, thanks, Steve. Peace. God, we appreciate you. We appreciate you so much. So, We're gonna have to do something for our United Washington Nationals because y'all really have to know we appreciate y'all. You know, <laughs> y'all really do. 
Um, and a lot of stuff that we do behind closed doors, like um, taking care of people's electric bills and stuff like that, um, phone bills, y'all don't ever see it. If you don't ask, you know, then we won't know. But I want to do something like publicly where we're doing like um, like giveaways over the call, like because I got that idea from um, the Toel Love Fund for the AMP who does. I think that's a genius idea, you know, um, make it shown that um, in front of everybody that you're giving back. You know, so it can be seen because a lot of times you don't see what we do on the back end. But I just All thank right, y'all so much. More callers on the line. We got area code two one four. Area code two one four. You're on the air. Uh, peace. 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 Oh, okay, I know. I know if y'all can hear me. Peace. Uh, this is Jamal. Yeah, peace. Peace, peace, brother. Can y'all hear me? Yes, yes we yes, can. Yeah. All right, all right, I Um. I was uh I didn't I didn't check the uh the uh, halftime show, but I did check the numbers. You know, I I be studying the Kabbalah and I study in the Gematria. Right. And, and, give it uh, give it to us. Per- Alright, well uh, personally I think the Super Bowl is fixed, all right. And I do see Beyonce and Jay Z now doing more and speaking out more, but at the same mm-hmm. time I feel like they was on the leash from the beginning. So, you know what I mean? Now that they being let off the leash a little bit it just seems like it has a, another agenda behind it. You know what I mean? Right. So, uh, way I seen it, like Cam Newton, like they trying to bring everybody back to the '60s right now. You know, they apparently want right. niggas out here marching so they can all we can all go get put in camps. You know, King Alfred. So, that's she, what you see? if she pushing, what do you say? I said that's what you see, guys. That's what I'm saying. Um, that's that's something yeah. in which that I mean, it's as you said, it's fathomable. So I mean, yeah, everybody is mad. Like, everybody is upset about the police brutality. You know, the Black Panthers. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah, yeah. I mean, it is some sixty um things taking place. So I see what you're saying. God, continue on. But that's also when we were more unified. We would have rent parties, and we were more family oriented too. Yeah, yeah. So, like what I'm saying, like that would be their agenda, but that wouldn't necessarily how you know those of us who know in the know can you know we can flip it to what it need, what it really is. You know, like like the Jay like the Jay Z Beyonce thing, like she put she put in she got the feds in a video, you know, and we we who know what's up, we can go back and show people what it is. But at the same time, those who don't know, will see a Black Panther movement and think we need to get back in the streets. You know, we need to go shoot white people. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, so it'd be like it's like a double edged. So, well, you know, it's a good side, bad side, to everything. You know what I mean? Like that. We but anyway, to that. You. Um, but okay. now it's open to dialogue for people who weren't normally talking about it. I, I know I was talking to one of the sisters, and she was like, people who who send her posts in her private inbox so she can post it for them because the people at their job will see it. Now they're more comfortable because Beyonce said it. You know? Yeah. So Yeah, yeah, yeah man. Yeah, man. I see exactly what you're saying. I, and you're right. I can she, see that. Off her leash. she was taking off her leash and now she can she can show how she really feels. And see Solange been natural. And Solange been trying to awaken her sister. And it looks like true. now since she has taken the leash off and now it's YouTube out there, she can you can, you know, she has the marketing ability of herself. She also has the knowledge of the industry. She don't need them yeah. Caucasian this time. Nothing to give her a percentage of nothing. They even had um, Buster Rhymes complaining, talking about it don't matter how much you make on your video, on your um, on the record sales, you still gonna make the same amount on each. Thir- I think he said thirteen cents on each album. Damn. Damn. I didn't know about that. Damn. Yeah. Uh, but uh, like okay, so. Like, uh, all right, so the final score, right? I'm trying to get to the back to the geometry. The final score was 10 to 24, right? So I, I went into the Kabbalist Dictionary. You know, I know that's what they use. And um, look up 10 to 24, and it's, the, it's on the uh, Tree of Life. It's the Quiloth, which is the, um, you know, the opposite tree, the dark side tree, as they say. Um, right, the Klippoth. Right. Uh, mm-hmm. excuse me, excuse me, yes, sir. And mm-hmm. uh, of um, the letter Nun, the letter Nun, right? And it, and it said mm-hmm. the um, the definition was the brazen ones, the brazen ones. Mm-hmm. So I was like, okay, okay. So then, I, you know what I'm saying, I'm on Twitter. I seen that they they promoting retirement this year in the NFL, right? A few number, a few people with the number number 24, right? 
and, and the final score was 24, you know what I mean? So I looked up 24, and 24 corresponds to none, you know, the, the, uh, the, the front side of the tree of the same letter of, of 10, 24. So I'm like, okay, okay, you know what I'm saying? That's, that's correspondence, right? And then, that, and then, you know, that Scorp and, and none corresponds to Scorpio, and Scorpio corresponds to your, your Kundalini, and you know what I mean? You know, your life force energy, things like that. So when I, I looked at brazen in the uh, Strong's Concordance for the Bible, and brazen simply means copper, you know? So it's the copper ones, and we know who the copper ones are, right? Right. So right. It's, the, it's the Panthers, it's the Panthers, which is the Black Panthers, you got Huey Newton. I mean, you got Cam Newton, which is bringing back the Huey Newton energy. But you know, right. listening to Dick, Dick Gregory, I heard Dick Gregory say Huey Newton was a was a plant. You see what I'm saying? To get niggas to go get guns, so they can go get shot by the cops. You see what I'm saying? And that scene, and then like the next day after the Super Bowl, somebody say some two cops got shot or whatever. You see? So now they're trying to mm. they trying to bring that back with niggas to say, let me go get a gun to these laws and blah blah blah. And then, you know, we got the whole war in the street thing. You see, it's the two sides of the coin. Those who know, those who can sit back and peep it will say, well, she just, she promoting, you know what I'm saying, her people to to understand who we are, and that's what's up. But those on the, but if you ain't paying attention, then you tying yourself to, you know, Cam Newton winning the Super Bowl, and black, that ties to black people rising with your emotion, and then he fails, you know, at 10, and it's 10 and 24, and that's the number that kills your dreams. Which it means the brazen ones, which is your kundalini. You see, so then you cool, you yeah. kill, you kill your kundalini by watching the Super Bowl, rooting for you know what I mean. Somebody who probably already signed the contract to lose anyway. Right. You know what I mean? Not not to not, not to talk down on Cam. Mm-hmm. Wait, wait. Yeah, not to talk down on Cam because you know he was doing the Superman thing, and they tried to shut him down from that because they only want niggas to associate themselves with Superman. I peeped that during early in the season. So I already knew he wasn't gonna win the Super Bowl. I knew he was gonna give it to the old, to the old, you know what I'm saying? European. Right. Yeah. But you know, I, 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 I think I peeped the ritual that what they're trying to do is shut down the movement, shut down the emotion, because they know our emotion is our power, you know, and and they they want to shut down our emotion to even think that we could even beat this system. Just just another way to reinforce that how, and I'm quoting <laughs> how strong this system is, because you know it's really a mind game, you know. But you know. So, uh, that was not they're, not gonna be able to shut it down. they're not going to be able to shut it down. Oh, I know. I know. Oh, I, yes, yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. But the woman done picked it up. You see all them women? She didn't have no men in there. She had nothing but women. Just like the church was falling apart when they gave it to the melanated woman. She took it and ran with it. You see? Yeah. So the woman yeah. done stood up now because she got a baby. You see what I'm saying? And once she yeah. have a baby, she become a full woman, and then her perspectives are different. You know, it ain't about um, it ain't about um, our, you know, going to the club and, and shake this yeah. jelly no more. You know, so um, as a matter of fact, she actually um, put up the seven million dollars to um, put homeless people in an apartment complex in Houston. Yeah, I, I seen that. I seen that on Google Plus. I seen that. Yeah. And then you got the other goddess who was also in the commercial, um, Serena Williams, um, and she trying they they dog, they always trying to act like she's a, a a a man when she when she not she's pure goddess just in her perfect shape, but they trying to yeah. and she also created a school in Jamaica. So now you got you got these baby Oprahs and then Oprah over there with Deepak Chopra, you know, adding on talking about um the divine mind, you know, so. The tree of life on the dark side, that's where we're more comfortable. That's how Bobby, that's what Bobby be building on. You know, and I'm glad yeah, you yeah, came right. back around the Bobby because we honor Bobby. There's some people on YouTube acting like we don't honor Bobby and we don't sell Bobby DVDs. We listen to his wife. We just say she don't want nothing on the Internet. So, Bobby, we got to respect that, you know? Um, so that's just what it is. But um, you also talked about Scorpio. That's also talking about revenge, you know, getting back what somebody took from you. You know, blanking uh-huh. if you have to. You know, don't let nobody kill your baby. You mess around and blank, somebody got to tell you, you took out the whole cop family. You see? So that's what's fuck with your energy. Then you got um the copper colored natives. That's why she was the, um, that's why she dropped it the, the day before um the Super Bowl. So you see the copper, the more standing there with a the fez on, you know, so. It's not. It's not. Right. You know, by definition, American, um, of course, all the copper-colored natives, 
you know, um, who resided here prior to the invasion of their territory by the Europeans. So right. who are the right. Aborigines? Who are the copper-colored natives? That are us. We are huh. the Americans. So that's also um, what you was talking about and what that comes up to. Yes, sir. You know, and yes, so, sir. yeah. So that is symbolic once again. You know, and of course, um, a lot of things was rigged. And of course, you know, when you looked at, um, um, you know, Brother Cam, I mean, I mean, he jumped away from the football when it was being fumbled. You know, I heard about that? that. I heard about that. I didn't right. watch it. But who, I heard about who, that. Right? Who does that? Nobody. You no, know, in, in, in a game that you want to win. <laughs> right. You know, nah, if you really want to win, exactly. you would have knocked the hell out of everybody going there. You six five, two hundred and sixty damn pounds. <laughs> jumping over here about it. Right, you, you know, you damn near just as big as the damn lineman. <laughs> right. Yeah. You know, and you want to jump yeah. away from the damn football that's just being fumbled? Yeah. Yeah. Right, they definitely was rigged. Nobody yeah. was protecting him. Nobody no, was no, protecting no, no, him. He had no protection at all. But see, right, you but see the way. Broncos, the Broncos dude was running with the ball and had about eight damn people around him, taking him all the way down the damn field to a damn touchdown. Cam yeah, ain't hey, had hey, not hey, one hey. person around him blocking for him and taking him nowhere. He had to oh, run the damn ball a lot of the time. <laughs> right. He broke the ball did y'all, did y'all because of it. So that game myself. Right. But, but did y'all people who got uh who got uh play of the game was number fifty eight and you know that's thirteen. And then the right. other guy who got him, who was getting it, was number 94. You know what I mean? Right. That was 13. You know 13. What I mean? But like, I, what I like, I just like to say, you know, in, in summing up my thing is that shows just how important we are, that they fix the most important game and the most important thing on TV just for right. us. Right, over 100 you know million watchers. Just to shut um, down watches. us. Right, exactly. Anyway. Right. Exactly, you know over 100 I mean? million watches, and that's just here. Worldwide, exactly. you're talking about over 800 million people watching that game. So, so I mean, I a billion people, a billion people out of the seven billion people on the planet, one seventh of the pop world population watching the damn, on watching that same game, um, um, you know, um, Sunday before last. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, that's just proof of who we really are, you know. So, exactly. people need to understand that, that how important it is that we need to. Get back to who we are, and you know what I mean. Honoring the prophet, and you know respecting the movement, going what we're supposed to do. Because it's right. just, I mean, it's just real. If they rigging whole games, billion dollar corporations. I mean, you you got to look at it. They had to rig that whole season to get the young the young cat up there at fifteen and one. You know, with the with all black people on his back like that. So that whole season was rigged just for just for us. You see, so like we need to we need to acknowledge that and accept who we are and do what we need to do. Right. And right here and, um, in North Carolina, this is where um, Noble Drew Ali was um, born. He was in a reservation exactly. here. Exactly. <clears throat> As he was also one of the copper colored the eight, mm-hmm. Right. They tapping into the 13th vibration, which they won't even put in a, a floor, the 13th floor in the hotels and da 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 in the city. So it still came out anyway. The God still added on with 58 and 94. It's still, mm-hmm. I'm dealing with energy can't control when mama say so. And, um, and, and I know what the, um, the last brother was talking about, too. You know, um, um, even rapper B.O.B. came out and exposed the human cloning and clones um, celebs or celebrities. You know what I'm saying? Um, of course, you know, he's rocking right now with the flat earth theory, which um, based on real information, the earth is flattened at the poles. They're not, it's not completely right. flat. So, you know, that's something that has to be corrected. It's flattened at the poles, at the north and south pole. Um, that's what gives it the extra five degrees. That's why it's not 360 degrees, which is a perfect circle, which they always show us from the damn NASA um, pictures, which that's bullshit. <laughs> right? That's what we do know, is that the Earth is not a perfect circle, but they're always showing us that. No, the Earth they is always, flat yeah. the pole, so it looks obsolete, um, which looks like an egg. Um, that's what the earth looks like. It's like an egg turned sideways, all right? So we just wanted to um, say that uh, uh, to break that down. Also, uh, we brought up the fact about women being here first on planet earth. Um, and like my wife said, you know, um, in some shape and form and fashion, perverted as it is, they're trying to give some type of credence or honor 
Dr. Blair, however, says that the penis is an elongated clitoris. The male testes are the woman's descended ovums. Um, now, in case um, with the scrotum, you know, um, and the male penis. Now, the female um, fallopian tubes are nothing more than the male's vas deferens or the urethra ducts, you know, and um, basically, which is both of the fallopian tubes joined together. Now, the male prostate, which is the uterus, is nothing more than an atrophied womb or uterus. Um, so every man has um, um, memory glands that goes along with it. However, those memory glands can latate, um, latate um, if um, tenulated. Um, the man's bobo um, urethra glands of the male are equal to the larger vestibular um, glands of the woman. You know, so we, we understand that. Um, we see that uh -huh. scientists today have discovered that the Y chromosome in sperm has about 2.8% less genetic material than the X chromosome in the same sperm um, specimen. And so researchers were able to um, sift sperm to produce samples in which the 85% of the cell has X chromosome. Now, in fact, the X chromosome is actually five times larger than the Y chromosome, which means that the female existed for generations without males, all right? Right. Um, to get the Y chromosome um, out of an X chromosome, um, you'll lose one of your points. Um, so through the chromosome is defected, which is why a man has um, the same components of his body that the female does. However, um, for example, um, the bosom and the, um, um, or, you know, the tits. However, men do not breastfeed. Um, men are a genetic defect of women in some regard. Degenerate, mm. you know what I'm saying? A female not only breastfeeds her children, but she nurtures the whole world with her wisdom. You know what I'm saying? So this is some of the things that Dr. Deborah Blair was saying that um, even Malachi New York spoke about. You know, um, right. my man, Nacho Tahuti, uh, who's, in, who's in jail, um, right now, you know, he was teaching on this information um, for a good few couple of years. You know, some of the people seen the videos that me and him did will be sitting on the couch actually talking about this stuff. You know, um, you know, so scientists have stated that the women existed on planet Earth for at least 150,000 years prior to the male species being here. How did the male species come? Through the rays of the sun in which that she would open her legs and she would take in the sulfatic energy or the rays of the sun, and the rays of the sun comes down in opposite of the male, which is instead of X, um, um, X, Y chromosome, it comes down in Y, X chromosome. So this is why the sun, S-O-N, is named after the S-U-N sun. It's because um, we was made in the image and after the likeness of our Father who art in heaven. Um, so this is where this whole concept comes from, is through, if you get the book um, Secrets of Regeneration by Hilton Otima, he goes in depth about it. You know, I don't have enough time to go into it here because we only have 20 more minutes left. But um, we want to get um, to back on the phone line. We got area code 414. Area code 414, you're on the line. How you doing, God and Goddess and whole family? It's OT down here in Texas. Peace, peace, Goddess. <laughs> I'm going to have to talk to you later, uh, Kadera. Anyway, okay. um, let me just chime in on this discussion. I think what you was trying to think of that word, uh, doctor, was uh, parthenogenesis. Par right. Let me say Pop it. Par right. Parthenogenesis. Right. Par right. Par right. Right. Exactly. Right. Yeah. Parthenogenesis. Right. Parthenogenesis. Mm -hmm. Right. I just Appreciate want to that. say Thank as far as as far as the performance um, of Beyonce and what else, I'm glad she finally came out and stood up for herself and said, yeah. you know what, the hell with the Illuminati, what your shit y'all talking about. Exactly. Okay? That's right, right there. Boom. Okay? I hear, right. I see what y'all writing. I hear what y'all saying. I'm listening to the YouTube blog talks, all this bullshit, and we can just <laughs> cut it out right now. Okay? I'm glad she did that. <laughs> right, I'm also right. glad that I'm also glad that she she made a stand, you know, and she started something. I think that I don't think she realized how how bigger of it it is than just herself. 
you know what I'm saying, something happened. I mean, when she said formation, that's really resonating a whole lot with women and men, okay? And they might not understand exactly what they what their role is, but they do know that something is happening and they're taking a stand. They're waking up, and you know what? We might not know all the mysteries and all the science or what the numbers say and this and that, but the bottom line is we can't talk ourselves out of the fact that something that's happening is going to be bigger than the Black Panthers, okay? It's going to be spiritual, I think, just like Kendrick Lamar. You know, I loved it when he went right on into the into the spirit, you know? So right, as a matter of fact. Dancing. Right, as a matter of fact, he came out on stage. Right, he came exactly. out on stage at the Grammys with chains on, you know, showing the, the mass incarceration. That's what he was showing. Yes. And then, of course, uh-huh. you're not going to take it no more is when they broke the chain. So, once again, when another try- one saying, yo, yo, this um, this this mass incarceration is killing a brutality of our show. This shit got to stop. And he's trying to figure it out. Everybody's trying to figure it out. Niggas in jail now trying to figure it out. What has happened? What, where am I going? What's going on? And he's trying to tell us, like we've been trying to tell people, we got to get back to our shit. That's the only, yeah. that's the only way. Yeah, you right. got to go within. If you don't go within, you're going to be fucked up. That's all. Yeah. So I love it. You know, I, I love these times. You know, these are, these are interesting times that we're living in. They're dangerous times, and then they're, they could be, you know, fantastic times, depending on the individual. But we all here for a reason. I appreciate y'all. Thanks for the few minutes you let me speak. And, Kadira, I'm going to have to call you later if it's possible, okay? Goddess, I'm so glad you called in because you ha- we could we would have been remiss if we didn't speak about Kendrick Lamar. He out here doing the oh. best he can for my week going to be all right. You know what I mean? He's going to be all right. All right. Yeah, and not only is he saying it, he's living the life. You know, he 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 ain't yeah. just saying some shit that sounds good. You know, he actually living it. You know, yeah. I'm gonna say this that I'm gonna be done. Trevor okay. Noah, are y'all, are y'all familiar with that comedian, the yeah. African guy? He he's yeah. over the uh, he put that guy's place on that talk show thing on that on uh, I forgot the name of it, but anyway, Trevor Noah, he said that Kendrick Lamar was Kanye ought to be Kendrick Lamar if it hadn't been for the fact that the Kardashians got a hold to him. I mm. thought that was pretty deep. Because yeah. he's right. Yeah. He's, he's yeah, absolutely he's right. correct. He was right. on point. He lost his mind. But it almost felt <laughs> so bad. Right. <laughs> you know, so we got to be careful about who we, who, you know, our mission, who we're supposed to be paired up with and stuff, you know. Right. Got to be careful. So, but anyway, all right, y'all, I'm gone. I'll talk right. to you later. Peace. Right. Peace. 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 Got it. Thank you. All right, we got area code 214, area code 214 on the line. Peace. Yeah, area code 214. Yeah, appreciate that. All right, I, I, uh, I fell off early. I just wanted peace. to uh, say I appreciate it. All right, appreciate that. Oh, you know. <laughs> you too. I appreciate that. All right. We got area code seven four zero. Area code seven four zero. You're on the line. Hello, family. How's everybody? Peace and blessings. Peace. Peace bro. You know, uh, I got, I got, I got, I got two comments. I'll make it quick. There's a, a passage in, in the Bible in Isaiah chapter fifty-one. In the last two, two or three verses, says the the dregs of drunkenness that your oppressors uh, have been putting on you, there will be an uplifting of that, and, and the curse will transfer over to them, and it will uplift from us. And if you look at the story of Exodus, what actually happened, as the curses was going, everything was raggedy in Egypt, but everything was fine and docent. And I'm seeing that right now. For those of us who we can't get caught up in because somebody want to kill us or hate us, that that's just the Pharaoh raising his army up. And second question and second comment is this. There was a movie, if anybody is was familiar with it, 
It was called Limitless, where they people take this pill. Yeah, that was a good movie. You, yeah, you know that's what? like they got a they got a series on I, it. I, yeah, it right. Is. I could be wrong, but I think Steph Curry and Clay and Clay Thompson is on some of that stuff, and a couple of other players. Because check it out, all the records that 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 we set in stone, they're coming after our records. The white man said, I can't get five group of white boys to do it. So what I do next, I I, I get the light-skinned who, who who look like me, who don't have the hair like me. I give him the pill, and and he takes all he takes all these records. Mm. Uh, got people this out. One thing about a Ooh. white man, what, what do you do? He'll tell you something before he come out with it, and then right. it's in the system. Because Michael Jordan did not do what Steph Curry done. Uh, Magic Johnson, why is it that a, a, a guy coming to the league and haven't been in there that long and doing what he's doing? They're trying to go after our records. They made Michael Jackson turn his skin white because he got the records. Right. <clears throat> I don't know. That's just my take on it. What y'all say on it? Hey, um, that sounds accurate to us, bro, at least to me anyway. Um, because we know that they have to have some type of form of self-hatred um, being perpetrated at the top. Otherwise, you won't make the money in which that you need. Um, just like Jack, um, just like Michael Jackson, when he started becoming conscious, he turned to Islam, so forth and so on. Um, they was calling him Wacko Jacko, you know, um, mm-hmm. and then the de- you know dehumanizing him, you know, um, setting him up, you know, trying to take his money because he had the um, peace collection, had the um, Elvis Presley collection, had. Um, Little Richard collection, which he ended up giving to Little Richard. He had, um, you know, he owned 51% of Sony. You know, so this dude was dealing on a whole nother level, you know. Yes, he was. Um, and people want to say that, um, that you know, that he was a clone. You know what I'm saying? Well, uh, I don't know if a clone can keep that much consciousness going, you know, to the last days, you know, trying to beat, you know, Sony. And he gives the story also about the fact of, um, you know, um, when um, Mariah Carey was married to, you know, Tommy Mottola, who was head of Sony, and how um, she would come in and cry on Michael Jackson's um, shoulders and everything, and Mike wrap his little arm around her and, you know, tell her it's going to be all right. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> you know? Well, right. <laughs> right, right. The next thing you know, you know, Mike owned 51% of the damn company. <laughs> you know, so, um, <laughs> you know, it, I mean, Mike was was a shrewd businessman, you know what I'm saying? So, yeah, we know that he had a form of self-hatred, even though Mike said that he had vitiligo, you know, I can't say which was which, because I remember um, watching his, um, his sister, um, Latoya, you know, say that Mike had cases and cases of some skin bleach and shit, you know, um, coming to the house. You know what I'm saying? Exactly. Now, that could have been because he did have the Taligo and he was just changing his, you know, all his colors instead of having the patches and changing all the colors to that, to that likeness. That could have been it. Uh, we don't know, though, so, so, you know, we can't show per se, but we can all definitely speculate that there was something going on. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. I got you. I'll, uh, thanks. Uh, I want to, I want to say, Peace and blessings to all y'all. Good show tonight. Much love and much success and abundance and prosperity. Y'all wait. Thanks, bro. I appreciate, I appreciate that. Thank you so much, uh, and vice versa. Right back at you. Watch it no. all. Watch it all. Watch it all. You know what Watch it all. Eesh. All right. All right. <laughs> all right. All right. We got area code 818. Area code 818. You're on the line. Oh, greetings. My name Peace. is Jeff Amir from California. Peace, How are you brother. doing this evening, Brother Tanner, and Brother Dr. Alain Day? Greetings. 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 So thank you so Peace. much for doing this show, because as soon as it came out with the whole conscious community, it irritated it. I don't know what out of me. Because at the end of the day, is, if anyone is in a culture, so they understand it, the energy is true. So even if she was, even if she did whatever she was doing, if you can understand what Fear was saying, you can get what you needed for you. But right. at the end of the day, if somebody had even done their math, going to look at the cosmos, look at her chart, even though it might not be exact, but just look at her chart because before Super Bowl even came about, I already did all the math. So I already knew what was coming. So I just looked mm. at her chart, and by her chart, by definition, she's an Eastern star. 
Right. Right there. Like, I mean, and no, well, now, and people are arguing over that. You know, I do. Obviously, you don't. You're in your emotions. <laughs> You're caught in your emotions. That's what right. you well, we know for sure you Jay-Z me. is a Mason. Um, they're taking pictures of him being at the lodge meeting. So we know that for yeah. a fact. Mm-hmm. Exactly, yeah. and at the end of the day, I mean, it goes back to these cosmic principles, which really goes into the, you know, my being in the heart. You know, mm-hmm. that's Pluto Mars was there. That's the Libra that was there. You know, right. that there was the North Node, the South Node, right? I mean, it was all the math was there. So I can't even really see. I mean, actually, I sit back and kind of laugh. It's funny to me. Um, right. To, right. You know, see right. the comedy because it's really showing where people are at. Like they say, the wolves in sheep's clothing. I mean, it's really showing you that you say that you're this. You're really not. Your title right. does not make you that. It's just, that's the same thing that the white man did. <laughs> you, mm. did you know, just seeing the same thing being repeated. And it's actually it's just showing the hypocritism. I see it's the exact same thing. Like you say that you're my yacht and you're this and you're El Bay and all that. Then you should know. You know, you should know this right here. It shouldn't even be a question. And if you don't understand, even what if they were doing the Illuminati, whatever, before, it all was a plan. If there's a plan in place. Right. Well, I mean, anybody right who watched now. the video, she even alluded to in the video that, you know, that, um, you know, that her family dealt with voodoo, you know what I'm saying, which is, exactly. you know, a form of voodoo, you know what I'm saying, um, you know, she basically somewhat throws that in there. That you know, she, go that, back I mean, at the end of the day, that, I see that whole video even just being a ritual, understanding, because when right. I first even heard the song, like, my whole arms got chills and my crown shocked. I was like, oh, wait, let me pay attention. Let me see. Let me not Let me not look at the surface right now. You know, exactly. let me actually just, let me feel what's going on. I was like, oh, I got it. Oh, I see exactly what's going on here. You know, because mm-hmm. so, I already knew everybody. I was like, oh, I said the conscious community is about to have a field day with this. And I was like, oh, you know, they, and she knew it too. That's why, the, that's why yes. at the end she gave everybody a middle finger. Exactly. And as I look back, <laughs> <laughs> when I saw that, what hit me, like, my fear was like, when she made Bow Down Bitches, she was actually already talking to them. <laughs> I was like, oh. That's she right. Did, everybody been talking for a long time. But she's like, if you really know your math or whatnot, you would know who I am. Mm-hmm. Exactly. I was like, oh, I was like, you know what, B? I was like, I wouldn't even, I was like, I have to give you props. I was like, my goodness gracious, let me let you do your thing and let me follow suit. Let me get into okay. position so I can Definitely do my thing. But the conscious community, we get caught up with um, the, wanting the woman to be the force. He's not supposed to be out there. He is. Where's Jay-Z? Them brothers are looking for him. And why she ain't got no clothes on? But yet they staring at women who wear less than that at the club, you know, smoking and drinking. Exactly. exactly. Thank you. Business. Thank you. I was like, y'all, I was like, y'all don't see this is tantra. I was like, you bring that tantra in. I was like, y'all not paying attention to that, so I know. I know. I was like, y'all missing it. Y'all are missing the whole point. There was. She, she even throw some tantric lines up in there. Yeah, I mean, that <laughs> oh, was yeah, baby. Whole, oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh, yes. I like yeah. that. She throw some tantra uh, um, 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 tones up in there. You know, it was, like, you know, it, it just, like, for me, and I've even had, um, uh, I had a call, and, you know, just for those who already could see it, they were like, oh, my goodness, thank you. I was like, yes. I was like, and I had some sisters who it didn't matter. Like, they just said, I don't care. They were just, just hating on the whole thing. And I'm like, but you're bitter. I was like, so you can't even understand and love my eye. You're bitter. Your heart's closed. You, that's why you can't see it, but you don't even realize right now you're blocking your blessings. I'm going to let you stay over there and be bitter, Betty. I will not object to that. I'm going to let you do you, you know. But that's, I mean, that's, and that's the whole thing. It's not just that easy. You have the information now, like, okay, cool. I'm out. I'm not. I'm off the grid and everything. I'm like, I actually know the purpose. I thought that, too. I thought I was about to hop up on Mercury and be a bit out of here. Um, no, the purpose is actually to get the information and come back and actually do the work. And then you'll know when it's your time to go. You have right, to actually right. go and you still have to build the wealth. I was like, that's part on the wheel. Like, have you built your wealth? You will come back. Please don't think you won't come back. You you haven't built your wealth yet. Right, right. And and, and then also with the Tantra, she, she, says, she also says that when he fucks me good, I'll take his ass to Red Lobster because I slay. <laughs> <laughs> when wow. he fucks me good, I'll take his ass to Red Lobster because I slay. If he hits it right, I might take him on a flight on my chopper because I slay. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. So, so, so she was definitely adding, you know, um, um, the tantra info up in there. And she goes even further. She says, um, I see it. I want it. I stunt. Yellow bone it. 
You know what I'm saying? Mm. Um, I dream it. I work hard. I grind till I own it. I twirl on these haters, albino alligators. Who these albino alligators that she's referring to? Caucasians. Some of these Caucasians. These albino alligators. Mm-hmm. These motherfuckers around me is the one who I slits. You know what I'm saying? I've seen it. <laughs> yes, well. it's, um, thank you so much for pointing it out, because as soon as this goes up, I'm going to go ahead and post this in one of my little groups. Like, go listen to this right here, ladies. You know, because I understand <laughs> I can just find the information. Like, Doc, let's cut through all the bullshit. I'm going to give you where the jewels are. Like, I have, like, a list of people. Brother Panic, you on it. Dr. Eileen Bay. Like, all the rest of it, they're great. But if you just want to get to the meat and the potatoes and be directly on your path, this is where you want to go. And, um, yeah, they, oh, oh, no, I, I you know, no, I, I recognize it. Like, oh, wait, yep, there it. Some people, I'm like, you know what, that's some good information. But you had, a like, 90% fluff up in there. And you have always been legit. You have always been, like, I, I, I go to the root. That's just my whole nature. I go to the root of stuff. People can discuss something, and I'm like, yeah, but let's just go to the root. Let's just go straight to the etymology of it. Like, all the rest of that is just is a waste of time. And hmm. so just understand that you brothers are not a waste of time. I appreciate it. And I appreciate this show right here because, um, yeah, it has been quite comical. Like, oh, my goodness, people, can we wake up? She said get in the formation. Did y'all not see she had showed all the different leaders or whatever she think in the formation at the end of the day y'all don't even own nothing and y'all talking about what like in the formation let's do this come on right she shows a picture of, of uh, martin luther king saying that he's more than a dreamer <laughs> exact that thing like oh my goodness i was like y'all you know like i said i just had to just sit back and drink mm-hmm. some sangria like let me just chill and let me go work and collect me a check and just sit back and see the folks who is blind as hell. I'm like, it's right there. Like, all the signs are there. You can't right, tell me right. that you're a cosmologist and you're still Bill saying that Bill. Beyonce is working for somebody else. Bill Gates. She's like, you just might be a Bill Gates in the making. Hell, I might just be a Bill Gates in the making. And I'm so grateful that you're talking to the women, too, because I've just been talking to the brothers. A lot of the sisters are like, yeah, I'm with multiple mates. But as soon as they man hook up with another female, then they're ready to leave him. And that's because we're not saying what we want. We need to also be clear. And we also shouldn't be hating on other women. If your body ain't where you want it, then get the work. You know, and I love Beyonce because she's not injecting her body with, um, to make her booty bigger, you know, and, and lips and all this other stuff. She has fake hair and nails maybe, but as far as the other stuff, know, she's not with doing her little hair, I saw this, um, it was a like a patch I hear a story that was dealing with Oshun with this long flowing blonde hair. I was like, ah, that, now I get it. I see the connection, you know. And um, as a matter of fact, I'll post it somewhere because it was just a really good story to see and see why. I mean, just an explanation as to why she keeps her hair like that. She likes it blonde. She don't want to do afro. As a matter of fact, I don't want her in afro. I like her hair like this. I like looking at the stuff like this. <laughs> I don't want the afro. Right, but, but we might just see the afro because uh... – that's what she said. She like her baby with her afro, so she might just rock it once in a while just to, you know just what? to get, more at, right. them, get right. more at them albino alligators. <laughs> that, you know what she might, but what I love, now that she come out, they're all, uh, everybody, you know, she could have had a daishiki on, she could have had this on, she could have had an afro, right, right. now had she come out with an afro, as soon as she had the she afro, they would have said, oh, now she's trying to be black. Like, exactly. you, know, you, know what the, you know what the thing, it don't matter what she do. I mean, she can go ahead and get super tan. Oh, so now she's coming back to her regular skin color. Niggas, it, it, it doesn't even matter. Like, I mean, you can't, you know, some people, it does not matter what you do. And, yeah. you know, that just that's just because it's, they're reflecting off really what's in them. They're reflecting off the poison that's in them that's in them. So it's nothing that you can do until they go ahead and change themselves. Um, right. But, no, yeah, I love, like, as you were saying, sister, like, no, I love exactly what she does. I was like, you know, she she is a master of her craft at the end of the day. I mean, how can you, Indeed. whatever you can say personally about her at the end of the right. day, she's mastered her craft. And right. on top of that, then she went ahead and took control of everything. She um, played the game. She took control of everything, put her stuff on title, went got all new representation everything, and then just dropped the bombshell and was like, and who's going to fuck with me? Who's going to check me? Exactly. exactly. Who's going to check me, boo? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Who's going to check me, boo? Yeah. It's not you. It's not you. <laughs> it's not you. Because <laughs> I already like in the video she showed, she was like, "This is right." At the end of the day, this is my whole squad. I got this, and I came to New Orleans, and I've got all my ancestors with me. So who is going to check me, Luke? Yeah. 
Okay. Yeah. And then she was like, and then at the end, she was like, and this is for all the people you drown. Because y'all remember, Katrina, them people was up to their neck. They was in their mm-hmm. attic. Six, seven, exactly. Six, she told to breathe. Then they're going to um, burn the levee. I mean, blow the levee so the rest of the water could go down there and flood them. So they, exactly. They and that's them exactly people. at the very end. That's exactly what she had. And a mm-hmm. um, key point is that, like, you know, it was that thunder, and then, you know, the, the boom came. And I remember a day before, uh, my uh, one of my mentors, we were talking about, like, dealing with sound. And, um, like, was faster than, um, I think it was, what we talking about was faster than see the sound, and it really was just actually being in action. But just sound, first is the thunder, then comes the lightning. So I even see the thunder as really being that feminine element. So really that was that feminine, like, really understanding the power of that feminine element. And she's all in it. And she, being on top of that police car, drowning, she is ready to um, say, I mean, she is really putting herself on the line, like, understanding, I mean, I looked at her chart, and, you know, charts just speak to me. I mean, she's down for the cause, like, in her chart, like, she's good, she's acquired all her stuff, so she doesn't even mind losing it. Like, if people who, of course, don't have or like, she would never do that, or why would she do that, or I can't even see, but you don't know her. Like, you don't even understand, like, she understands exactly who she is, and she's done everything that she was sent here to do. Now she's like, let me go ahead and do like the, my very my soul's mission right now. Right, you don't right. have to get it. Like, I mean, Michael, the same thing. Like, look at how Michael was trying to tell us stuff, and everybody was calling, you know, wacko. He's doing all this kind of stuff, and I mean, we it was a, a different situation, a different climate, you know. But you know, of course, after Mike died and people looking at the stuff, so he's trying to. Oh my goodness, he was telling us for years. Like, yes, he was in his videos, everything, but nobody was really looking. And nobody was really paying attention or checking. They just were way too sleep, and just the timing was a little different. Now, you know, the climate is different, and you know, like I said, Beyonce being a Virgo as well, she just, you know, he passed the torch in the crown, and she was like, "I got this." Right, and also even during that time with Michael, you know, the rappers were the one in which that was coming out with the conscious information, enlightening the people or the masses, you know, into consciousness. Uh Now it's the other way around. It's the grassroots people who. YouTube that is awakening the artists, <laughs> you know, to come out with this information now. So it's ter- it's flipped a whole other script right now, you know, from the nineties exactly. to right now, you know. And Kendrick exactly. Lamar had to do the same thing. He also had to come and you know shuck and jive, and still now he's on a higher vibration. And everybody even actually pointed that out. They was like, "Dang, he done totally flipped the script. He ain't who he used to be." You know? Who did you say, love? Who was that? Kendrick Lamar. Oh yes, oh definitely. Mm-hmm. Oh yes, oh, oh definitely. And um, I mean, even him being from the West Coast, we know everything else. You know, not a, everything dies in the West or is resurrected in the West. So it was going to end up in the West Coast anyway. Um, and regardless of people say his puppet masters are let him do it, like I don't even. It doesn't matter. Like you know, the who, what, when, why, how. We just the end result is that it's going to happen, and it plays exactly. a part. And you know, if they're, they're speaking of the way race rights or whatever, you know, that probably will happen, and you can choose how you want to participate in it. You know, there will be some people who are, will be on the ground who are, you know, like if you're in a war, like that's not me. Um, but, you know, it's the, at the end of the day, some things will happen to create an end result, and all you can do is just focus on you and raise your energy and put those positive things out there, you know, plant those seeds in the cosmic atmosphere so that they can manifest, you know, they can manifest. Like, that's, you know, some what I do. If I want to see something, I just put it out there. I visualize it. I send it out there. I do my work, whatever, the ritual, or I'll make up some stuff, and I watch it manifest. So that's really what needs to happen, whether they're a group collective that we come together, wherever it is, and just, I mean, just really doing the same thing that they're doing. And we have more power. They use our power. They only have no power. So, Indeed. you know, it's just, you know, even more instead of talking about it, like, doing okay, great. We got this day right here. We're going to do this. Let's send this, this division out. Here's a pick, you know, wherever it is that we're looking to send this energy to and do it and watch it happen. It will happen. I've done, like, if I can do it just for myself, I know that it will happen with a collective of people. Indeed. Indeed. Thanks, Goddess. Appreciate you coming on and spilling oh, you're welcome. Um, that good old info, you know, on us like oh, yes. that. Um, everybody oh, yeah, here, check out like Astrology as well as I, Numerology. I mm-hmm. Yeah, that's poverty got thing. I can't do Mm-mm. And I'm right. like, let's come on, everybody. You gotta come on. You're a guy. You ain't got no kingdom. You ain't got no gold. You ain't got no concubines. 
get out of here with that. Come on now. Let's, <laughs> if you really want to talk that, then just go ahead and rise up and do the work to do it, unless you really don't think that you can do it. That's the only right. way that you, why you don't have it. I understand it because I was once there. That's the only way I can even understand that type of thinking is because I was once there saying it, trying to, you know, do an affirmation until you believe it. But you just got to do the work, step into it, and then just really watch those things manifest. So, you know, I appreciate you as well. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. And um, You're welcome. We You're welcome. All right. Peace, goddess. And we're going to go back to the phone line. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Peace. 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 All right. We got, we got area code 704. Area code 704. You're on the line. Peace, Washington East, his brother, Kamos Bahat Kael. What's up with you? Peace, peace. I just wanted to add on, um, it's quite funny as well because I was going to talk about that tantric line that she mm-hmm. dropped when she said, um, you know, if he F me good, I take him to Red Lobster. Right. Now, because <clears throat> she slay. Now, you right. look at the word slay. Right. You notice that it means kill, murder, or put to death, which right. metaphysically that means to put away with the old and to come into the new. With the new, now, new beginnings, right. Right, right. And then when you look at uh, lobster in a, a magical sense or a spiritual sense, it deals with um, transformation, noble ideas, and the urge to discover. Mm-hmm. As well as rejuvenation, and so, that's what we uh, say too, right? About right. the whole concept of the woman, right? Is the reju- is the rejuvenation or regeneration process, right? Right. right. That's what right. we were talking about earlier about the brother was talking about the tree of life, and the ancient regarded the tree of life to be the female anatomy or physiology. Right. So what I got out of that was basically, in a nutshell. If you deal with her on that tantric level, then she will take you to the lobster or she will transform you to a higher level. Well, remember, she already that said she is the upgrade you. She already said right. in, the, in, the, in, the, in one of her last ones, I'm going to upgrade you. <laughs> right, exactly. And she was putting that back out there. So right. by her saying that she's the slayer, which is putting her in the form of the uh, the goddess Kali, Kali. or the, right. The, exactly. right or the, the the Kundalini to raise you up. Exactly. So that that's all I just wanted to add on, fam. Oh, well, that was a beautiful <laughs> add on, God. <laughs> sure was, God. Yeah. You remember they had them lights? Remember, um, in New York where they had the um tribute to Kali. That was 2015, and then right. also too um. The um the breakdown when um Obama and Michelle did a pre game interview, she was also talking about upgrading you. She she kept on calling out Beyonce name, you know. So, oh, and yeah, that was that was just recently, right? That was right before the game, as a matter of fact. The week right before the game, right before she put out that video. Yep. No. Mhm. Yep. It's all yep. lining up. No doubt, it is all lining up. Oh, yeah. All right. All right, y'all. We're going to call it a night. Oh, I think you. we done went in as, as much as we could. Y'all might not. Real quick, real quick. Y'all might not have known. That's the guy who did the ancestry of the ancestry. Right. I'm getting ready to play it again. <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you need a jingle or a commercial, um, hook up with the God Kamos, um, so he can give you the prices and everything so that you can get yours as well. All right. Please. All right. All right. And this is what Brother Camos did. We're going to go to the New World Order. In fact, the New First World Order. And um, we're going to go check out, too, what he um, gave us was the Ancestral Tea commercial. Whether you suffer from pain in your back to aches in your knees, come on down and purchase you some Ancestral Tea to get rid of all the parasites toxins, and fleas. Spiritual elevation for cosmic gravitation. So put away the patience, because there's no time to be wasted.
Radio.com. All rights are reserved. Peace. No doubt. So that's www.ancestraltees.com. Go to our website and get some of them good old herbal teas that can help cleanse you out, that can help regenerate, rejuvenize, revitalize, and regenerate. All right? Um, And also, on that same website, there is a link where if you bring people to that website and they purchase, it'll be our way of giving you back 10% of their purchase. So get you a link and pass it out. Okay. As well as also go to www.drlimelbay.com, that's D-R-A-L-I-M-E-L-B-E-Y, and go to, um, let's say, Ancestral Herbal Organic Products, as well yeah. as also, in order to learn more information about um, United Washington, go to United Washington um, official history page, as well as also United Washington reclamation process, as well as also United Washington language um, as well as also go to um, ICROM, Indigenous Cosmic Golden Ray Order Mount Chesedek, and our new rendition of Moore's Bill, which is now um, part of our ICROM um, program of those who become high priests and high priestesses. Go there and check us out there on Moore'sBill.com. As well as also, um, we want to mention once again, March 18th, 19th, and 20th, our annual event. You will have the greatest time of your life. You will learn the most important information of your life. So come on out and check us out for those three days. That's March 18th, 19th, and 20th. That is next month. That's just next month. All right? Just one month away. So check us out. All right? Um, We want to say that we love y'all. And once again, we're out. And here go, Brother Mm -hmm. Carlos. Join for us. Brother Al, I know you got something to say before we go. What's up with you? Uh, but, uh, but one question. Uh, hearing rumors that Obama's going to do a third term. What do y'all know about that? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Huh? So you done got his back in formation now. <laughs> how you going to do that? <laughs> <laughs> you get, you know, how how we going to do that? Because isn't that illegal? Yeah, well, well it's, it's not constitutional any longer. The last president that was able to do three terms was Franklin Delano Roosevelt um, during the 19... Um, 30s, um, so 1920s and 30s. Uh, so I mean, uh, well, we did a unless he puts forth though. a executive order in which that he can do that, which is possible. Which, based on what I've heard and what I've read, if the country is under martial law, it is possible for him to do a third term. Um, but he already has stated that uh, uh, that Trump is not going to win the election. He already said that. So we already know. Um, since Obama, yeah, we know that and, and he was not joking when he said that either. Um, so we already know that we got to look for Hillary to come into um, position. And um, it's not like we are really pushing for her because, um, you know, we don't trust none of them in that regard. However, right. um, we probably can see, based on Sean Morton, who used to be on Coast to Coast, he already stated that back in the late 90s, early 2000s, that that Hillary will eventually become president, you know, and um, so we see that this is probably what's getting ready to happen. We're not hearing too much from Jeb Bush, you know, who um, is um, the son of um, George Bush. You know, he's not doing too much right now. I mean, the front runner for the Republicans is is, is Trump, but, you know, Trump isn't going to last too long. Um, he, he don't have enough common sense. He talks too damn much, and he gives too much of his opinion about about nothing in regard to, um, you know, Muslims as well as also um, Native Indigenous people, you know, not being able to come into this country and putting up a fence or a wall to about making America great again. Well, if that's the case, then let's send your asses back over to Europe because exactly. you're not the original people um, here in this country anyway. You know what I'm saying? Um, that's us and our brothers down in Mexico who came from the Omex, um, um, you know, hence the term Mexican. Is from Omex, Mex, you know what I'm saying, which is talking about the rubber people, you know. So uh, we understand that. Uh, and I'm going to leave it at that. I know, um, Queen, you have something to say? No, God, that's everything. Um, I just, I'm just grateful to be here. <laughs> okay. All right. 
All right. Well, we're going to hit you off with um, Brother Camos again. This is the joint that he did for us. This is Loose Soul for Order. Warning. You have entered the realm of the gods. So give us your mind and your full attention. So you say you deal with esoteric information? I never heard of such. Well, you're in for a treat. Block talk, block talk, this is the block talk. I lean hell bay, dropping jewels every day. Block talk, block talk, this is the block talk. Metaphysical, we deal with the spiritual. Block talk, block talk, this is the block talk. I lean hell bay, dropping jewels every day. Block talk, block talk, this is the block talk. Metaphysical, we deal with the spiritual. So you claim to be a god? Damn right I'm a god. The maker, the owner, cream of the planet Earth, father of civilization, god of the universe. Wow, I didn't know that. 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 So tune in or lose, friend. All strategies apply mathematically. The information he drop is real powerful. So get your notepad, it's more than an hour full. Watch your jaw, the crew with watch us talk. Indigenous to the land, wherever we stand. First world order, we bring it at home in the first quarter. Invisible lines don't apply, we cross borders. Silly rabbit, knowledge for God. No matter where you resign, lies, temple of Mars. So don't fret or proceed with hesitation. Just tune in to blog talk to get the information. Peace. 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 Peace.